Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in Manifold Garden. Now, this was developed and published by William Charles Studio and is usually available for £16.74 slash $19.99 but does go on sale pretty frequently so always keep an eye out slash I hope it comes on the Game Pass soon. Now, this is an astonishing game, very Escher-esque puzzle type where we have to manipulate the world around us to progress. We basically need to change the gravitational ways to get to places and there is always more than one way to finish a puzzle. Now it can be quite disorientating at first but you do sort of get used to it. Now as for achievements and trophies, they're pretty much all unmissable. You will unlock all of them for completing levels, growing trees and worlds but you will definitely have to do two playthroughs. One for completing the game on 0%, i.e. not placing any of the god cubes. Then again for placing every god cube. Now realistically, you're looking at around sort of 1 hour 45 minutes-ish for each playthrough, resulting in just under 4 hours. And I do hope that the pace of this guide is going to be okay, but always feel free to slow it down if it's too fast and let me know and be like, Hey, you son of a b you made it too fast. Anyway, so, like I said, all in all, with two playthroughs, that should get us done within four hours. So, with that being said then, let's do it. Uh, maybe three hours, 40-ish. Anyway, so here we begin then. You move with the uh, left stick, right stick to move the camera up and down, of course. When you go up to something, you see the colored dot, you can press the right trigger, and that will change it. So, as you can see, you'll have four colors. Um, press the A button to interact with um, just things and buttons and everything and the left trigger you can uh, move faster with. So again, you're going to press the right trigger here, of course, and that'll put you onto the purple ground. So you'll have... Um, now, I do believe, by the way, that I am a bit weird with colours, so if I keep seeing the wrong colour, I do apologise. Um, but I believe it's pretty much green, purple, red and uh, yellow, I think. Hmm. Anyway, once you're here then, you can pick up the block here, place it on the uh, switch, and that's going to open up the door. Lovely. Go straight ahead and then press the right trigger again, and that'll get us the yellow box. We can now make our way through the door, place this on the switch, and we can make our way through the door. So, sprint or jog slightly, whichever one it is. Now, obviously, what you have to, you can't go, like, straight up and straight down. You're going to have to, obviously, uh, move in sort of one direction to get places. So here with this uh, blue cube, or this next cube, we'll drop it down. There we go, we'll place it on the lever. Now, if, as you can see, straight up is where the next one is. So we can just press the right trigger and we will eventually be able to drop all the way down. With this cube, what you need to do is place it on top of the, sh the shelf, press the right trigger to jump up, press the right trigger right next against this wall, and we can drop down. Pick up the cube, put it on the next shelf, and then do the same thing. So, um, press the right trigger up, and then right trigger again. And there we go, that is how we do things. That is how we do things, man. So I'm hoping that, obviously, you know, it starts making a bit of sense as we uh, hit the wall. Press the right trigger there, and we can actually make our way down. So from now on, I won't, I'll just call it, uh, I'll just say change, rather than right trigger. Uh, you should sort of already know what you're doing there. You, you change the ways a couple of times here, open up the switch, get through, straight in front of you, change, and then go straight in front of you again to change. Uh, grab this, uh, go onto the green part and grab this, and what you need to do is put it on the sort of black line just above where the switch is right there. And then uh, change to get the blue block, pop that on top like a big blue clock -a doodle doo and that's how we get through. Uh, and I do, I do, again, I do apologize, this may be potentially a little bit quick, um, as we grab the one block, pop it in the switch or whatever, and then grab this next block. Now what we're going to do, we are going to just press, we're just going to head down, and eventually we should land on this um, little building here. Now I should say, y you will never actually die in this game, um, if you fall and you miss something, um, you'll just keep, it's, it's like a repeat, so if you fall and miss it, just keep on going and it'll always be there, so you'll never actually die. Also, one thing I should say as well, as we just continue to fall, and we are going to fall onto this next part, is pretty much every room that you go into, I would highly advise saving often. Now, like I said, you can never die or anything like that as we continue our way forward and go to the left. 
We are also going to press the right trigger uh, to sort of start heading down. So you can't die, but in terms of like potentially missing something or, or messing up a jump and you think, oh, I, I can't get back onto that. Honestly, save often uh, just by pressing the start button and clicking save game. It will help a ton, especially later in the game. Uh, there were times where I thought I was doing very well and I messed it up. Um, so yeah, just save, save often. It's all right for now, but definitely later on. So once we've changed a couple of times, we can now head through this green door, change to get the, to the switch and switch it up. Uh, grab this purple block. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna place it sort of in the middle, roughly around here is fine. That should be no problem. Hit uh, change to get onto the switch. And then what we can do is drop down. We're going to grab this block right here, orangey yellow type thing. There is a colorblind mode as well, uh, which I should have turned on really for the colorblindness of us all. Uh, so I do apologize about that, uh, but make sure to try and pop this on the um, block. Obviously when it's white, it means that you can't pick it up because you are on a um, directional pull. You know, you're on a different colored path. Uh, now what you're supposed to do is we are going to head back onto this wall uh, where the sort of switch was and then we can grab the um, the yellow block and we can head our way through. So yeah, it, it seems to be quite intense these first uh, couple, <laughs> you know, the first level or so. But uh, by the way, just to let you know, we are doing the 0% uh, playthrough first. So, which means we're going to be doing things a little bit different. Now, for some reason, I'm getting mightily, stupidly confused. <laughs> but just press the switch and away we go and drop down. So, yes, we will be, place we'll be, we'll be placing zero god cubes. This is the first 0% uh, run through. And then we'll do the god cube run uh, the second playthrough. So, with this yellow block, then we can place that in. That'll start lasering up. We will get an achievement as we head to the right. Uh, change the direction and we can start heading down. Witness a laser. So there we go. Congratulations. You activated something. Aren't we clever? We should be because this game, oh man, it made me lose my hair. Not that having two kids made me lose my hair or anything. <laughs> no. All right. So once we're up to the right, hit the wall on the right and then obviously straight forward and hit the switch. Then we can just head up and up, hit the switch and continue to drop down, hit the wall on the right. Now what you're going to do is we are going to just hit, uh, make sure you stand on top of the cube there, hit the switch and that should uh, get you going. Hit the wall on the left or change, the, uh, change to the wall on the left. Put this yellow cube uh, just above where the switch is at the top and then you can hit the wall or change to the wall or whatever, and then hit the switch, and then we are continuing on our merry way. So go down, and then if we hit this, the wall on the left right there, we are now on to the red tree part of life. Now, with this part, again, there's sort of one, a couple of ways you can do this, but uh, what we're going to do first then is put the red block just to the right of where the switch is, so off the red beaten path. Grab the next red block, and then we're going to put it Roughly, quite close to it, but, you know, roughly, um, yeah, roughly there. Uh, change the wall up to the green, and then what we can do is place this green cube on top of the red. And then from here, what we're going to do is grab this next, um, grab the green cube here. Make sure you stand on top of the other red cube, and then you can just drop down. That should be good to go. Then you can grab the other red cube, pop it over to the other side, and that's job done. So again, I do apologize sometimes if this is confusing. I <laughs> I thought most of it was quite a smooth run, but uh, sometimes, like I said, it can be quite disorientating, especially sometimes if you do have trouble with colors. So, uh, my bad. Uh, whew, man, we're not even 10 minutes in. <laughs> I'm tired. Jesus Christ. Oh, and that Jesus Christ was because a huge moth just flew in my face. <laughs> Spawn of Satan. Anyway, we can head to the right and <laughs> head back down. Oh man, why are butterflies so prettier than moths are just like, yeah, they just want to suck your face off. Not even in a good way either. Right, so continue heading to the right and down, hitting the next switch. It's greenable. Uh, hit the wall on the right and go straight and hit the wall again. 
Apparently, we've changed it from change to hit. So we're going to hit the wall. Yeah, we're just going to hit stuff now. Uh, hit it on the right. And uh, obviously, put the switch. Go straight in fr uh, to the left of you, sorry, rather than straight in front of you. So to the left, you can see two cubes. Now, you're going to wonder how we do this. Well, <laughs> I'll show you. So grab this yellow block first and then place it... Um, not on the very right side, but sort of on the left right there. Um, switch to red, and then we are going to put red just on top of it. Um, if you sort of made it a little bit too far, like I did, very hilariously, stinkingly, uh, just place it in the middle of the wall. That will be a lot better. So go ahead, grab red, stick it up, bump, uh, hit the wall in front, and then we can turn to the left. And then what, and what we're actually supposed to do is hit the wall in front. And then we're going to drop down. There we go. And now we can hit the wall to the right. And we can now pick up the red. The redness goodness of the tomato ketchup -y kind. Right, so now we can hit the wall, continue on. And again, continue on. Hit the wall to the left. And open up the switch and away we go. So, from now, we are going to hit the wall on the right. And then we are going to grab one of these blue purple cubes. Again, I'm just going to say it as I see it. So if you laugh at me, then, well, <laughs> looks like I'm a douchebag. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, put it sort of hanging off the edge on the left right there. Gro drop down, grab another blue slash amps purple one. And we're going to hang that just on the edge of the next one as well. So again, not uh, doesn't matter if it's too far over or whatever, just as long as it's hanging off the edge. Drop down onto the tree, make sure to grab the uh, third one. And then we can plop all that one up as well. And again, we're going to make sure we're hanging that on the edge rather than directly on top. Job done. Now, from here, what we're going to do is straight in front of us a couple of times there. Hit it twice so we can grab this red block. Brick, block, brick, 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 brick. We are going to place this on top of the sort of first cube right here, first white and cuban. Head straight in front of you, hit that, and again, and once again, just under where the black line is, and again, and now we can just continue to head down, and what do we see? La la la, we can see the red cube of life, brilliant, fantastic, you guys are goddamn awesome. Right, hit the wall a couple of times here, and now we can just continue on our way. Again, it can be sort of, it can be quite disorientating when you're sort of changing the walls and hitting the walls and you're sort of like, am I up, down? Am I to the left, to the right? Am I not? What is life? Anyway, hit the green, pop it in. Grab a green. Grab the booger. Booger, booger. And again, we're going to place this directly in. Lovely. Green laser beams. Woohoo! And again, head up the stairs, hit the wall, and this is the first dark thing. Now, normally after every level, when you see this, you would normally pick up a god cube, find where the tree is, place it in, and that's level complete. Obviously, this first time around, we're not doing that. We are going to grab the cube this time, which will uh, get us an achievement there for let, the, let There Be Darkness. And we're going to continue on this path. But again, we're not, be going, we're not finding the tree, and we're not going to place the god cube in. We're going to drop straight down, and then eventually we should just hit another... Uh, sort of platformy pathway right here. So from here, we can just continue straight on. Things are looking darker than a dark dark. Hit, go to the left. We're going to head down the steps. Stay alive. Stay alive. <laughs> Stay alive. Uh, we're going to obviously just continue around. Now we're going to head into the right, into this weirdly goopy bit. Looks like the goopy parts of your eyes when you wake up. <laughs> Uh, we're going to drop down, and from here we can just place this, quickly interact with the uh, switch to open it up, and what it will actually do is, now, normally when you do this, it, it basically sort of resets yourself, but because we've just opened up the lever, as you can see there, so we've opened up the lever, so we're all good. Um, so we don't actually need the god cube now, so we can just pretty much follow the same path that we just did. So, have a break from my voice. Have a Kit Kat. Mmm.
Just before we go to the left, make sure to grab the cube out of here because it's not needed in there no more. And then follow on your way, my sirs and knights and queens. So what you're going to see is a big old drop down and then what we're going to do is obviously make sure to land sort of in the middle of this one. Again, if you do miss it, you'll just keep falling until you hit the middle of this. So again, that's pretty decent. But as I said, always continue to save regularly because, uh, you know, that's uh, that just makes it, you know, a lot easier if you do mess up somewhere like I did countless times. So hit the next switch and nip on through. Hit the wall uh, to your in front or in front of you rather, and then we can grab this Poiple Brick <clears throat> and we are going to place this just on top of the... Okay, we'll try that one again. Just on top, there we go. <laughs> Thank you for co your cooperation. So hit the wall straight in front of you to get this yellowy orange looking bro. And then what we need to do then is just place this slightly on top, so it's sort of hanging off the edge of the next block. And eventually, there we go. Right, okay, so hit the wall to the left of you, and again, so that you're back in purpley bricky country. Grab the block, and then we're going to place this again, just on top of the, the white block, the yellowy white block. Hit the wall on the right, and the wall on the right again, so that it sort of drops down a little bit like that. That is fine. That's what we're supposed to do, which I thought we weren't supposed to do, but it turns out we were supposed to do. So grab it, pop it back on the old white brick. Um, we are going to hit the wall on the right, and then we're going to drop down and then hit the wall again. And then that should just about be enough here to pick up the next block. Pop it on. And there we go. That Again, some of those can be a little bit of a pain, especially with those where you have to sort of have to drop and then hit the wall quite quickly. But, um, you know, there's there's no mistakes. You will get you will get it eventually. So, yeah, it's fine. So into the next room, then we're going to go to the left with the switches, drop down, hit the wall. And boom, we're going to skabloom it, brah. And then just follow the little path. Hit the next switch. And if you fall, of course, just make sure that you, I mean, you'll eventually just get to the same path anyway. So we can just drop straight down and hit the next platform. You're probably going to miss it the first time. The second time you will. Uh, for some reason, if you do keep pressing the left trigger and forward, you will continue to go forward ever so slightly. So keep that in mind. Okay? Okay. Right, what we'll do is drop down, and there's the switch. Hello, everyone, it's me. There is nobody here. You are alone. Uh, mm, that's quite depressing. Anyway, grab a block, pop it on the old uh, washing line right there, and that is actually a color-changing block. It's not a washing line. And then hit the wall in front of you, and again. And it, both of those will drop like big, big pennies in a big fat greedy CEO's pocket hit the purple one <clears throat> excuse me and then continue straight and you're going to change this color as well continue straight in front of you and again that'll drop down again every CEO is like I know what that feels oh I'm so fat and greedy while all my my workers are earn a minimum wage and for some reason he sounds half Welsh half Jamaican for whatever reason so drop down to the um, right hand side here and we're going to be hitting this platform. Boom! Ah, oh, man, I missed. I stink! But then we can continue on our way. So glide on, boys and girls. Glide on to the front, straight to the glass. Hit the wall. Or hit the glass, even. And then continue straight on. So we will start getting into a bit of a reprieve later on where there's just a nice amount of sort of walking to do. And a, a, a few sort of less puzzles, but... Still, it's constant. It's intensely constant in this first bit. Uh, right, so continue heading down. And obviously hit the switch. Oosh, slap it in with your head. And then from here, we're going to go to the right. And continue up the stairs. Hello, hello, hello. Head to the right again and go through this big sort of open doorway. Um, Oh, 
Right, so grab a red block. I mean, if you could actually grab it and not just f make it fall like I did. <laughs> That's why you're all better gamers than me. Uh, so continue on forward with this red brick. Go to the left. And then just uh, sort of pretty much go straight from here. Again, make sure that you are saving regularly, just in case. I tell you what, it's like me telling you to go to the uh, toilet and drink two liters of water every day. I'm sorry, but I just want, I just need you to know. So hit it in, and away we go. Uh, make sure to turn to the right. It's very easy to just get lost, but if you turn to the right and right again, you'll come up into this new room and area. Grab this next red block. Hello. And then we're gonna pop that into the um, switch or whatever it is right there. Grab the next block. And again, we're gonna make him go from dirty peri peri sauce red to a lovely uh, something other color, which we'll find out now. Okay, so go to the left, hit the wall just to the right, just to the left of where the stairs were. That will drop that down and then hit the red bit of the wall again. So to the left of you right there. And now we can actually pick up this red block. And now we can goodbye straight onto the platform. And now we can goodbye, my lover. Straight up the stairs. Drop it in, my friend. And then drop your ass down again. Meow. There we go. Again, luckily for us, no breakage of the old anklage. So grab a block, pop it in the switch. That's um, we're gonna hit the wall directly in front of us. That will make us go. Thinking with Paul. So that was actually our first portal. Um, yeah, which I forgot. And which it confused me, because a lot of this game did confuse me. So, continue on. Hit the wall in front of us there, the old purpley way. We can drop down. And then what we're going to do is actually just go ahead and open all four of these doorways. And once opened, go directly in front of you to where the switch is, hit it on the sort of left right there, and then we can hit the switch. And then continue on our merry way. Hit the wall on the right. Continue on our merry way. So, first things first then, couple of trees here. Hit the wall on your immediate right first, so we can go ahead and grab a, a multicolored kyaub. One green, one yellow. And we're gonna hit this one first on the switch, but just to the right of the switch then we can uh, basically hit the wall behind you to grab this orange. We're going to place, oh, in fact, you know what? Ignore me, uh, I do apologize, I messed that bit up. What we need to do is place the block the other side because I am complete dongish. So that is my native tongue, absolute dongish. So do apologize, make sure that it's the other side, sorry. And then we can pop the block on and obviously that will get your block on, yeah. Right, head directly in front of us there. You can see the switch uh, just in front of us. Uh, that will drop down this multicolored ding dong. We're going to place this again, sort of on the um, black line. So yeah, make sure we'll be doing that. Then hit the wall directly in front of you. We're going to now grab Am's Poiple, the old stinky winky color. Not that purple is the color of anyone's stinky winky. I meant uh, tinky winky off Teletubbies, of course, because if you got kids, well, you'll know Teletubbies. And if you were born in the 90s, you'll know Teletubbies. And if you're any kind of sane person, you'll know about the Teletubbies. Damn. Days are old. Right, so, once we've uh, got our way up, or got our way through, we can head continue to head up the stairs. Man, it's a lot of stair walking. I'm already goddamn knackered. Grab the purple cube, obviously place that in the switch. <laughs> Grab the next one, and then from here, uh, you can actually just go to the left. For some reason, I decided to take the long way around here. Uh, but if you just go to the left, you can see the next switch that we're going to put this block into. Yeah, just uh, taking in all the scenes and the sights, which is nice. So from there, directly drop down just one floor. And what you're going to do is run around the whole building, opening up all of the uh, doors. So just hit all the switches. So run around until you have exhausted all your energy and life. So that should be the last one. Uh, just make sure that the next one, the door's open. So from here, we can just drop down immediately to the left. Not one, twice. Uh, continue on until you hit this big red 
red carpet looking thing. Yeah, that'll do it. So once you've hit the red carpet, we can uh, continue on, hit the wall straight in front of us. And then we're on to the sort of weirdly next part. Uh, head around the corner and into the building. Now what you need to do is just continue, but make sure to drop onto this first platform here. Because what you're going to see is a whole bunch of uh, green switches that we can open all the doors with. Now there was an edit because I actually fell the first time. And for some reason it took me a day and an age. It took me super long to just get back up to where that was, which was kind of embarrassing really. So instead of showing the embarrassment, I just edited it out. <laughs> Magic. So once all the doors are open, we can now actually just drop down. Um, but again, so yeah, if you do mess up, you can get back to what you need to do. But that is why I always say uh, to save regularly in case you do that. And then you just think, oh, I can't be asked. It's just easier to reload it and go nuts from there. So once you've opened up all the doors, we can continue. Hit the door on the left or the red switch. Um, and now we can obviously just drop down and hit the switch when you're doing... Probably better than I am, right there. Donging up life again. So, what we're going to do is uh, hit the walls directly in front of us. We're going to purple up some trees. Nice, nice big blocky blocks. Now, pop it on the left-hand side, on sort of the black one, then hit the wall on the right to get a multicoloured yum-yum. And then what we are going to do is we're going to place this. Now, as you can see, there is a little shadow at the top there. Uh, That'll come in handy a little bit later, but for now we can just place it on the black line, which is fine. Hit the wall directly in front of you. And that'll get the first light going. Hit the wall on the right. No, sorry, the behind you again, so it's the purple one. Sorry. Let's make sure it is the purple wall, so we're grabbing another purple brick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, put it to the right of this next switch. There you go. Again, there was a little bit of an edit, which I do apologize for. Um... Continue to go ahead directly in front of you and again and you will that is how you get the green tree So you need to sort of hit the wall which you we haven't yet drop down hit the wall to the right And then continue on hit the wall again that will drop it down And then once we've got this then what we can do is put this back on where the line is Go directly in front of you again and then again directly in front of you hit the wall and then that should get both switches good, and we are good to go. So hit the purple wall directly in front of you, and drop it down, baby. And go for a nice little jog. So yeah, when we got sort of linear paths and everything like that from now on, I probably won't just, uh, probably won't be talking, um, but we will start coming up to a lot more linear paths. Uh, but for now, grab the block, we're going to the left, of course, around to the left, and there is the next one. Um, now from here, we're going to go directly in front of us, and we can continue straight down, sort of up the little stairs right here. And boom, that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for the uh, next. I mean, it looks like a bit of a playing card, doesn't it, effectively? Uh, what we need to do, though, is hit the red on the left to get the the red going down. So you have to be quite careful right there. Again, that's why I say, say make some manual saves so you're not sort of getting lost. Uh, we can drop down. And um, with this bit, then, we are just going to need to... Uh, in fact, sorry, no, we're going back up. So we're heading back up. Hit the, drop down again, and then hit the next green part. So I do apologize, that was me actually missing that one and messing that up. We do actually need to get back to where the green line was, so I do apologize. So what we can do now is, uh, from here, we are going to go where the sort of green blocky switch is right there. So again, a little bit of a mess up there. Uh, again, do apologize. Now, remember, what we need to do is just drop and go straight down and hit the first platform, go around hitting all the switches. Now, 
Now, I know there are quite a few guides out there. Um, I did have a look just to see what, um, well, just, to, just have a look because I'm nosy like that, um, as we just dropped down. And yes, there are a couple of ones for PC, um, but I tell you what, the, those PC players, I did have to have a little look because, again, I'm nosy. But they move at the speed of light. It's like they took a whole bunch of speed and meth and then just decided to play this game because you have, yeah, sort of pausing every second just to see what the hell was going on sometimes. Uh, so, yeah. So, if you see a guide for this game and it's like an hour long, it's not an hour long. It's not an hour long. Um, but also, there is a guide from one of my favourites, 8 Bits of Velvet as well. So, she's awesome. Right, so when we're in this room, we're going to grab this multicolored block, go back the way we came. We are going to leave this block uh, sort of in the, just sort of the right-hand corner there. Hit the wall on the left. And then hit the wall on the right. Um, then what we can do is go straight ahead. It should be green, and then it should drop down. If not, again, uh, just you, you sort of have to just play around with it. Um, but it should be green if you go straight in front of you. Um, once it's dropped down, of course, we can just go straight into this next part. Drop the cube, or drop the block, drop the box, whatever you're calling it. Um, hit the wall in front of you. Now with this part, drop and then hit the wall quickly. There we go, so that we can grab the next block. Otherwise, you would have just fallen straight down. Again, that's why I say to save regularly. Now, see the shade at the top right there? So just make sure that it's anywhere above where you know that will drop down lovely. Um, we can now just drop down. What we're going to do is drop down, and that's about it. We're going to drop down. Yeah, simples. <laughs> lovely stuff. Right, uh, hit the wall straight in front of you, and then we're going to drop down all the way down again. Hit the pillar straight in front of us right there, so it's uh, more like a platforming walkway. And then right at the very end, what we're going to see, we should now be able to see the next block as we drop down, and there it is. So it should be there again. Highly advised to make a save as well, because uh, we're going to start doing some Escher-esque stuff. So we're going to drop down, try and continue to just keep your finger on the forward button. Uh, because we need to get to a specific point, so that's why I say uh, made sure to save right there. Um, so continue past the next building, and then they're all the same building, by the way. So if you you can continue to fall uh, to make sure you hit the next part. Uh, but what we need is basically the sort of skinniest part of the building. So the yeah, this bit right here where we can drop down into a couple of holes. So, if you messed it up or whatever, just continue to fall until you get to this part. Then we can just drop straight down. And then what we're going to do is just, just, just go strata. We're going to place this cube, hit the wall in front of us, climb up these stairs once, hit the cube in front of us. That'll drop it all the way down. And now we can just drop. Lovely stuff. Right, from here then, we can now just drop straight down. So, if it, it did manage to go straight down on the floor, that's fine. We need it this way. Drop the cube. Oh, in fact, sorry, I went the wrong way. <laughs> I wonder what was going on. I went the wrong way. So we are now back in this area. Of course, we've been into this area. Straight in front of us, we're going to hit the wall. And then we can just continue on and hit the wall again. Now, a lot of the times we will be going back through areas, especially on the 0% run. We'll be going back through areas that we've been because that's the only way we can progress. So we can just drop down. Oh, my ankles. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but of course, video game logic dictates you have no ankles. Um, because you could just drop from incredible heights. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, so from here then, uh, if you did manage to land in that little bit, which you can't get out of, just drop the block and then, um, uh, and obviously just change direction so we can drop down. Um, from here then, what we're going to do, you see where the door is, we can pop it down. We're going to hit the couple of walls in front of us right there, and then it should drop down lovely. There it is. And you think we're going to put this in? Oh, hell yeah we are, man. And there we go. So continue on your merry little ways. Hitting walls and not digging bows. Hmm. Right into the next area then. Starting to lose our breath a little bit. <laughs> right, so we can just drop down, 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 and make sure you hit the. Uh, if you look behind you and hit the wall, um, we can just drop down. You can just see where the tree is right there. 
Uh, so if we continue to just drop down here, you can see where this little green tree is. Hello! And as it turns out, it's not green because it be orange. So we're going to grab this. Now what we're going to do, you can press the left bumper and right bumper to change the course of the block so we can change where the water goes. And we'll obviously get an achievement there called Water Bender. Kiss my shiny watery ass. Uh, so make sure then that the, now obviously you can see the lines and arrows on top. So just keep sort of spinning it in around until you get the water pointing directly in front of you. Grab the next uh, block and we're going to drop down. You can walk on this, this is fine. Uh, what we need to do then is redirect the flow of the water to the right hand side. But you need to go a little bit further up from where we are right now. Sorry, only a little tiny bit, but there we go. I'll just show you right near. There we go. So around here is fine, just fine. But we need to get that hitting to the left, apparently. Sorry, left. So drop down. So it was the left, not the right. I was getting my left and right confused. Hit the wall to the right so we can pick up the next green tree. Uh, we're going to drop down dress just in front of us on the sort of bridge watery bridge or whatever now just continue forward without falling and not dying to your death apparently and once we're at the end of watery grave bridge hit to the right put the green on the dot and away we go Again! Ah! Oh, excuse, excuse me. Uh, right, hit the switch and away we go and we'll get another achievement. Homecoming. We can now hit the wall directly in front of us and drop down. What we're doing is trying to find one with the switch on it as we get another achievement. There it is. There's the switch. Again, if you do end up missing this, just obviously just keep on falling until you get to that particular switch and of course you get the homecoming achievement there for returning to a uh, level through a hidden path so what we're going to do then we are going to this is basically just like an infinite stairway because what we need to do is find this tree we need to grab one of the cubes and we're going to head back up the steps into the next uh, sort of portly area this one and we're going to drop it in and then what you're going to do is just do the same thing for the other side so head back down Grab a cube, head to the other side, and uh, pop it in. Ah! And with that complete, you can pop it in, and we can just head up the stairs here on the left. Hello! And then what we need to do, we won't fall directly in front of us. Uh, we won't continue on forward. What we're going to do is hit the switch, um, press the right trigger there on the switch, and then just drop straight down. Continue on forward until you hit uh, one of these platforms to drop down. Hit the wall in front of you, and then that is where the purple switch is. Nice and lovely. So continue on forward then. Pick up this purple blick. Purple blick, purple block. Uh, continue on to the right and obviously drop it down onto the lever or switch, whatever. Hit the wall on the left, continue onwards, and we're into another delicious room. Nice, easy little puzzle again, this one. So, what we need to do is grab one from the left, pop it on the switch, and then what we need to do is grab one from the right. And then what you have to do, there is a hidden switch underneath, but you should be able to see it fully enough in order to put it down. What you need to do is make sure to have a look at where your sort of shadow of the, of the block is, and then put it right on top of the square. So as you can see, the shadow for me is just on top of the block there. So what you'll need to do, go back, pick up the uh, block, that'll drop it down, that'll open up the door the other side, put the block back down. I keep going to say brick and block at the same time. That's why I'm sort of going bleh, and then continue onwards. So just continue heading uh, to, to the back of the screen. Then we're going to head up these next stairs here. And then we're going to hit this purple block to make our way through. Uh, could just continue up to the uh, stairs for the time being. And now we're going to hit the wall on the right. 
So yes, hit the wall on the right so it's all purpley and stuff. Then we can head back up the stairs. We're going to grab the multicolored lovely blocks. Hmm. Reminds me of pizza. But I'm a fat ass, so everything reminds me of pizza. Uh, so we're going to pop this on the switch right there to light up the way. Hit the wall on the right. And we're going to grab the red one. Uh, so grab a red block. What you're going to do, we're going to put this just underneath the block. Should just be able to. Uh, yep, that'll do. <laughs> well, that'll do, pig. That'll do. Grab another red block. And we're going to place this on top of the red cube that we just placed. I mean, eventually we are. We're not putting it directly underneath, but we're going to be doing it that way. So what you need to do is place it um, sort of hanging off the edge so that it's keeping the other block there. Hit the purpley right-hand side wall because we're going to go ahead and grab the next brick, the next orange purple brick. We're going to just pop that down uh, for the moment. Hit the wall directly in front of you so it's red. And continue on straight forward and hit that one again. Boop. There it is. Hello. And then we can just place that down. And, ah, oh, mamacita. That means we win. So hit the wall on the left. Hit the wall on the right. And that's that one. So continue straight to the left or sort of down. What we're going to do, we need to find a platform. So just continue sort of heading forward as you're flying. Again, you will hit this bit eventually. Now, this for me, honestly, was an absolute pain in the old snatch of the bundle life. Uh, really annoying, the old Benedict Cucumber batch. But hit the purple uh, wall in front of you. Then we're going to drop down. Hit the wall straight in front of us. Uh, obviously, we have to do some gravitational changes as we drop down in order to get the pinball going. Hit the wall to the left when you drop down so that it's red. And again, you'll know if you've done it correctly because you can hear the little ting of the pinball noise. Uh, go to uh, sort of straight in front of you so you've hit its uh, next part. And then we're going to head all the way down. And then we're going to hit the next wall, which is obviously directly in front of us. Then from here, then you can just see it just nip down right there so that you should be on the same sort of path as me. Hit the sort of pillar directly in front of you with the black lines going. And then drop down again. And then hit the glass. So it's on the sort of left hand side. So it's on the purple side right there. And that'll make us drop straight down. Once that is done, we can uh, just continue forward and then we'll drop down to the next platform again. Um, continue straight on from where you landed, so it hits the red part. And then if you just go ahead and go behind you, so it hits the yellow part again. And then from here we can, can uh, well, <laughs> doing a full 360 apparently. Uh, but to continue straight on the sort of back side of the pillar there, we can just hit that one. And then what we'll do then, we'll drop straight down. So this is what your uh, view should look like. Hit the pillar so that it is nice and bluey purple and then just um, hit the wall behind you and then just continue straight down until you hit the next wall there is the pinball and then that should be enough is enough and tada like a really awkward magic trick, we can now head through the door, finally. Um, now, on our God Cube run, that pinball part, it's another one. And it's even more annoying. So that's something to look forward to. Huh? Like holidays in World War II. Or something or other. I don't know. Anyway, so once we've opened the door then, we can continue to the left. And then what we're going to do, for, we're just going to drop down. Sort of on the corner as we were. Boop! Oh, it's a big old noise, isn't it? Um, and then from here, what we could do, we are going to continue on. You should see a purple switch. If you don't see one, just drop down another level. This is a uh, quite cool, clever little portal room, this one is. So if you go to the right-hand side one, what we're going to do is grab the uh, block. And only now is it telling us that we can use the left bumper and right bumper in order to move it. Funny. So what we need to do then is get the water flow di directing to the right-hand side. Uh, make sure that it's sort of going out the door. That should be fine. You'll get an achievement there as well for redirecting water through a portal, which is slicey-nicey. This is uh, 
Basically, Portal 3 confirmed. This is all it is. No, we're never getting Portal 3. We're never getting Half-Life 3. So just be thankful we got the first two, unfortunately. So make sure it's directing it to sort of pass the door and then go ahead and grab the next block. And then we need this block uh, getting the water through to the door. There we go. That'll do it. And then finally, for block offs number four offs, we needed to, go to be going through the door directly now in front of us. Let's try that one again. Sometimes it can be a little bit weird and finicky, but once you hit it through the door in front of you, you can see that um, it, well, it's hydro energy. So we've put power onto a water wheel and that will get stuff going. And then that means we can get going too. All right, heading through the door. We're done with that bit. Okay, so pick up this cube here on the right, and that will actually be able to make our way through. And then what we're going to do, now this is sort of a lot of walking back and forth. Now we basically need to drop like six or seven cubes down onto the floor. So um, I'll sort of tell you obviously what to do with the first bit. We're just going to follow this little platformy warmy. Hit the switch, of course, so we can make our ent entrance. Now, what you are going to see is uh, to the left of us, I believe. Yes, there it is. So we need to drop down here to the left. And we are going to get another achievement for growing a tree in just a minute. So we'll grab this uh, one purple block. We will put this down on the switch in front of us. So that we've got another a bit of exit, plus a bit of water popping out as well. Uh, grab the next block, pop it down on this big square. And there we go. That'll get us another tree with some more blocks we can grab. So, yep. Very Minecrafty tree. Plant in the seed. Don't plant too many of your own seeds. That's where a lot of kids come from. And that's where your hair loss is inevitable. So drop down straight in front of us then. <laughs> and uh, we're going to grab another block. And again, we will just drop down. Until we get back to where we were. So basically uh, on the roof right here. Now, careful, we're going to drop down once and then twice and then we're going to go through the portal here. We're going to go up the steps. Now, this should look a little bit familiar. This is where we're going to come back into the main big room. Hello, main big room. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just drop this cube sort of on the edge. Um, if you fall, it should be okay. You can literally just uh, make your way back up using the sort of gravitational walls and whatever. And then we could just continue to go back down into the main area. So again, yes, we need about six or seven cubes this time. So again, head to the left, drop down into this neat little area. And then uh, what we're going to do this time from here, we are going to drop down to the left. There we go. And we should just be able to, um, yeah, we should be able to, since we dropped on the trees, we should now be able to grab that one which I don't think we could grab earlier on. And then just do the same thing. So drop down, get onto the top of the building, drop down once or twice, and then head through the portal and just drop it off the edge and then come back. Right, so once we drop down again here then, this time we can actually grab L Blue Bricko. So we'll grab that one and again do the same thing. So we'll just drop down. We will drop down onto the building, through the portal and drop it off the edge of glory. Oh.
And when to, whence, whence we drop down again, we're just going to now grab the blue block that we um, that was helping us nip through there earlier. But that's fine because we can actually just drop down again, do the whole building thing. And drop down again and there's going to be another blue block directly in front of us on one of these trees not this one but the next one again do your thing sugar and get down it And finally, and lastly, but not leastly, we're going to grab this one. The door will close, but that's fine. We don't need it anymore. We can now just drop down since we've got all our cubes. Right. So this is what we're going to be doing for quite a while now. Uh, we're going to be basically be directing some water so we can get uh, through. So with this first cube, now I do actually make a bit of a boo-boo first. I put the first two blocks. Um, we're going to obviously pop the first two blocks uh, right in here, but the the first two blocks with the whole redirecting the water, water thing, I um, did... I do put them in the wrong place. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what I mean. All you got to do is literally just drop down one platform. Um, but for some reason, I put them in the particularly wrong place, which you know doesn't make you know doesn't make a difference or anything. It just means that I added a little bit more time on than I was supposed to. So once you've opened up them and we've got four blocks, that's all we need. The water should be running, flowing smoother than a pack of cheese and onion crisps, Will Smith style. So. I will show you what we have to do. So, uh, the water's flowing, that's all good. Now what you need to do is, we are going to, we need to drop it down. So it's already hitting the uh, hydro wheel, the energy hydro wheel, as you can see. So what you need to do is, not on that part, but the platform, if you continue on and drop down one platform, that is where we needed to put the two, uh, these two blocks. So again, bit of a, you know, tiny little bit of a mistake, but please don't hate me, please love me. I need all of your love. Not that I'm desperate or anything, but... Hey, my bloke! Who's knocked my bloke off? Not that I'm desperate for your love or anything, but, you know, it would be nice to love me. Uh, so here we go then. My bloke was fine, just fine. Sometimes the game will do that. So if you're running and then your block decides to disappear. Yeah, that's why. So now I've put the blocks in the uh, correct position, the way they're meant to go. But again, you need to put these on the platform uh, just in front of us. Platform down in front of us. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, but that's, uh, that's, uh, that's all right. I'll show you in just a minute. So anyway, what we need to do is, again, we're going to go ahead and grab the next block, come up the same set of stairs. So me directing this part of the water like an absolute weenie when I'm still in the wrong spot. But what we need to do now is just drop down one platform here. Um, and then what we are going to do is put the water flow so that it is pointing that way, which that part is the correct way, by the way. 
Um, but the other two, we just needed to go down a little bit more. So grab the last cube and head back up the steps. Now, what it should be is finally we put these two blocks, we put this block right on the sort of black line so that the water flow is hitting the door. And now I'm wondering, why isn't this happening? And then I'm like, ha, oh man, I am stupid. So what I'm going to do is just head back up the steps. So I do apologize again about this uh, little minor inconvenience. Remember, I'm desperate for your love, so <laughs> you can still love me. And yeah, so for some reason, me being a complete dong, um, I realized I messed that up. And this is where we're supposed to redirect the water flow. So there's the first one. What I also could have done was actually just drop the one cube, grab the other cube, dropped it down, and then, yeah, done it that way. But for some reason, I done it the long ass backwards way, which sounds about right for me. So we will now grab this final cube drop it down directly in front of us, make sure it's hitting the cube straight in front of us, and now the door's open, and now the um, now the water is flowing in the correct position, exactly what we need it to be going in. A uh, bit of wet shoes, but that's okay. Apparently you've had broken ankles every time we've dropped down, so that's fine. Uh, so heading into this next area, again, we'll be doing a little bit of back and forth. We're going to hit this pillar uh, first, though, and we're going to drop down. Turn to the right and hit the sort of purpley pillar. And this is where we will get through to the next little area right here. Uh, what we're going to do, we are going to drop down. Is there a platform in front of us? So continue on. And if you're wondering where to go, Let's drop, boom, 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 straight down to the platform. Ah, oh, I missed. Uh, if you do miss, you can either just drop straight down or hit the wall in front of us. Hit the wall again. And then, uh, yeah, just make sure that you can hit the wall again. And there we go. But again, if you don't want to do it that way, you can just drop down. Just keep dropping down until you get to this room with the purple switch. Opening up the door. And then here we are then, back in a familiar surrounding area. So, now that we've got all the doors open uh, that we need to anyway, we can now hit this purple switch directly in front of us, sort of to the main room, and we're going to be doing some more water bending. So, we are going to grab the first one. We are going to head out of here. Lovely looking game, by the way. The game is genuinely fantastic. It was released in 2020, but uh, still, it's real nice. So, we need to do then with this water flow, we're going to be directing it to the left. And then uh, we can just go back the way we came and grab another block. So effectively, we're just making the water go through that door directly in front of us. So you just need to grab two of the blocks, make it go through that door. Job done. All right, good job, everybody. You're flying in now. So when we head down the stairs, turn to the left, and we are going to hit the uh, next wall on the left right here. So we got the green switch. Switch him up, Jenny. Uh, if there are any Jennies watching, hello. Um, 
Are you Jenny from the Black? Are you Jenny from the Hood? Are you Jenny from the Posh Neighborhood? Uh, so just drop down directly in front of you. Sorry, don't know what the hell I'm going on about, as is per. Uh, hit the wall straight in front of us to the, to the left, so it's a red switch we can hit. We've opened up a nice bunch of switches. All this dark stuff will just get out the way when you go and hear it. Oh, I'm scared. Ah, it's like Big Bang Theory nerds, isn't it? Oh, I didn't mean to just compare nerds to the Big Bang Theory. I'm sorry. Don't hate me. So once we drop down into this stairwell case thing, um, this is... Uh, actually, funnily enough, this is... That yellow tree, this part that we're on now, would actually be level 6 of the yellow part as we drop all the way down with the yellow block. So there are basically 7 levels in the game. Um, bam, we've dropped down. So finishing this would actually be level 6 out of 7. So yeah, we're not getting too far from the end, really, of the first playthrough. But we're going to drop down here again. Make sure to make manual saves. Um, drop down. Make sure it's coming in from the left so you sort of hit it exactly as I have here. Um, now, if we just take a look, we need to be sort of in line with that white sort of staircase directly in front of us. We'll drop down. Again, try and stay on the platforms if possible. We're going to need to drop the block. Drop the block. Uh, head up the steps, grab the block, and we're going to put it directly on top of us. Hit the sort of wall in the, per the blue in front of us. Then go around, hit it so it's red. Uh, make sure again that you're on this ledge. <laughs> And then what we're going to do from here is just drop down onto the frozen ice bridge. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah. Yeah, you know exactly what I mean. By the way, there is a much better version of Let It Go. Thanks to Chris O'Neill, Oni NG, and uh, Psychic Pebbles. Legends. Uh, so what we need to do then is uh, make sure that we are on the same ledge, which I think we just were. So that was pointless. Uh, pop it on the ledge uh, just in front of us. Yeah, so now we can press the A button, Kial. There we go. Uh, hit the wall on the left, and then what we're going to do is go onto the next ledge. So obviously that we are above it. Now make sure to hit the... Uh, yeah, so I do apologize again. So this is so awfully confusing. There we go. So we're onto the next ledge. Uh... Pop it on top and then just do the same thing. So hit the wall behind you. Go onto the next ledge on top and then hit the, the wall. And that should be enough now. So we can actually just grab that. Now what you need to do, try and be a little bit careful here. Again, make a save if you wish. But you just have to place this cube on the left. So that it is on the sort of white screen. Head down and then what we're going to do is you need to be quite quick. So what we're going to do is drop and then hit the wall on the left. I don't think you can actually go through the white bit there so you, you don't actually have to do that uh, but just drop down and go straight in front of us we're going to open up the door now this next part is <laughs> kind of long kind of long in all fairness um, now all you had to do there was just actually just hit the wall on the right get past the cube and then hit the floor but uh, for some reason once again I decided to make things completely difficult for myself so we're starting to get into the points where there's a lot of walking uh, which is always fun, of course. <laughs> I love walking just as much as the next nobody. Now, this looks like the end of the game, doesn't it? Oh, oh we're not quite there yet. So, drop down, interact with the pillar in front of us there to open up the switch. For some reason, I decided to not do that. We do need to open up the switch. So we'll try that again. So sometimes when I went back to the game, I forgot the buttons between A and right trigger for some reason. So interact with the pillar in front of us, drop down, and then continue up the stairs. We are going to hit the right trigger on the stairs, though, in order to get to the next switch. So head towards the blue line and hit the wall there. And then, of course, straight in front of us, hit the wall again. And we're back to blue cube country. So pick up the blue cube. I am in flavor country. Uh, from here, what we can do is uh, we are just going to leave that one for now. Hit the wall with the black line directly in front of us. And again, hit the wall directly in front of us. That should eventually drop down somewhere. Nope, we're just going to the left. First of all, uh, not that way, sorry. We're going past the stairs. 
And basically we're going, remember with, we were with the red cube earlier on, that is the uh, way that we are still going, or we're going again rather. Again, remember to grab the red brick and continue on your way, exactly going forward like we done earlier on. Only this time we're not going to be heading up the steps, we're going to the left into this little goopy eyed area. Straight through to the portal, or through the door or whatever, heading up the steps. And then we are on to the big platforms here at the top. Uh, so continue forward, and then we're going to continue up the steps. Oh, let's do some dropping. Is it? We haven't done some dropping in two minutes. So we're going to drop down onto this sort of pillar right here. Again, make sure that you're landing on the sort of platform exactly where I did there. Again, if not, you can just directionally pull you away. Or if you've been saving often, just quickly reload your save and go again. Uh, continue up. We can see four. This looks complicated. It's not really. Uh, but we are going to head up the left, very left-hand side steps. We're going to put the uh, red block right on the top of the pillar uh, on top of us. Uh, try and get it sort of square on if you can like that. If not... As long as it's on there, that's fine. Hit the pillar in front of you so that we are looking like that. The white brick. Hit the ledge on the right-hand side so that we can... Uh, I thought I'd be able to grab it. As it turns out, not. So you've got to drop down. Pick up the cube. If you're standing on top of it, you can't actually grab it, of course. There we go. And then you need to hit the wall directly in front of you. Um, go onto the... Uh, just drop down and hit the... Or you can just go on the same sort of ledge as you were with the red block. Then hit it. And then grab it, and then away we go. Now this bit again is a long bit, but as you can see, with this sort of gap in the wall here, what you need to do is push this right up against the wall. Um, yep, yeah, because we will need to be going on a long journey in order to grab another two now, which is just... <laughs> love it. I love walking so much. So once you've done that, then if you turn directly around and hit this wall, which is straight in front of us, um, because basically this is the only way that we can get past the uh, big old switch right there, and then just continue forward to hit the wall. So yeah, again, uh, you should be able to just follow along easily as we come through here. We're going to head to the right, and we're going to head to the right again to go back into this little room. But yeah, like I said, when there's just a just sort of walking to do, um, there's no point me telling you to go left, right, up, down. You know, hopefully following along with the video should be hopefully paced well enough. Um, but yeah, so in case you're wondering, I haven't broken. I'm still here. Just about. <laughs> uh, so drop down. Bam. Um, again, for this part, what we need to be doing then is we're just basically finding two multicolored cubes. But again, we have to go quite a long way in order to grab them. So, you know, that's always nice. Uh, but here is one that we're going to pick up first, the orange cube. And we're going to go ahead and place that just to the right of the doorway right here. And then what we'll do then... We will, if we turn around and hit the wall on the left, uh, that's dropped, which is what we need. And we're going to grab this multicolored yum yum one, pop this into the sort of top, sort of right hand corner, just where the doorway is just above us. If you have a look, hit the wall on the right. And then what we'll do is hit the wall just in the sort of doorway right there, just so we can grab the multicolored block. And that'll fall down lovely.
So once our delicious green and yellow friend drops down, we are just going to pop him uh, sort of in the middle right there. Then we can drop down, head straight in front of us, uh, change the wall, hit the wall. Go up the steps, hit the wall in front of us. And it should now have dropped down directly in front of us. There we go. Hello. So if we pan the camera up now, what you're going to see, of course, is the shadow, very small square shadow box. What we're going to do is put it just on the edge, um, you know, sort of anywhere right there is fine. Uh, for some reason, I'm having real trouble <laughs> trying to figure that one out. Then hit the wall in front of us. Go forward, hit the wall in front of us again. Now, once we've dropped down, underneath this big, huge pillar to the right of us, you can just see a little doorway. What we're going to do is just pop this um, underneath. As long as it's hitting the platform underneath, you're going to then hit it twice. That'll drop that one down. And, of course, doors open the way for us. But uh, we don't care. We ain't going that way. We're going the other way. Now, instead of going up, we're going to the right and heading down. Joyous of joys. Oops. Eh, meh. There we go. So make sure then that you put this block just underneath uh, one of these pillars right here. Hit the red and green again. And then what that should do then is obviously drop the um, block for us. And then, no, don't. Eh, meh. There we go. Now we can just drop down. Drop down again. And then what we're going to, we are going to just continue dropping down. And eventually what you're going to do, you need to hit to the right hand side in just a moment. So we will, not now, but just in a moment. So we'll just pop this behind us, go red. And then if we go directly in front of us, what we're going to do is hit the, um, um, one of these pillars. Or the stairs. And then eventually it's going to drop down. There it is. So once we drop down, what we're going to do now, from this way, what you need to do is head down and then you need to go sort of down behind you to go past the gloopy-eyed stuff. Yeah, that stuff. Um, and then we can just drop all the way down as normal. So if you do miss it once or twice, just uh, sort of keep your eye out. I know it's quite fast, but uh, keep your eye out for it and then just go back into the gloopy part. Once we're done here, hit the edge, uh, get on top. Hmm. Wow. Um, all right, Owen Wilson. And then we are now good to go. Now we can just drop down, continue heading down. Again, make sure then the um, block is uh, sort of directly above us so we can hit the platform. So when we go forward twice and hit the wall twice, that'll drop down square on our nugget. There it is. Yeah, fantastic. Right, so pick it up and then obviously continue to drop down to the right and then drop through the block here. Um, put it straight in front of you and then hit the wall directly in front of you and then go again in front of you. That'll drop it down again. And then what we can do then is just drop down and then you should end up landing on the windowsill and on top of this little sort of kind of look like a Jeebus crossed. Oh, save me Jeebus. Then we can head to the right. So placing that cube uh, doesn't matter. If you've got it on the sides, you can just pick it up easier. If not, and it went straight down the middle, that's fine, because we can just drop down and pick it up anyway. Because again, apparently the use of two legs doesn't seem to exist in the, in these games. In fact, we are just we're just an entity. We are nothing. We are nothing. So uh, we can just drop down again. It's fine, you don't have to be too careful or anything. Um, but we can just drop down, there we go. And that is the first block out of these two that we need. That seemed like a hell of a lot of effort to go for just one block. But, yes, we need, now need to grab the other block. So, um, 
To be honest, it's pretty much effectively the same thing as we just done last time. So it's pretty much just a case now sort of following along with the video, which is fine. But you should have one red block, one multicolored block. We just need to hit this wall in front of us now in order to get past the switch. So this time, instead, when we turn right, instead of going through the door, we're going to hit the platform above and continue on. So once we've grabbed it then from here, it's pretty much just a case of what we were doing last time in terms of uh, placing the cube in specific positions, um, doing a bit of gravitational wall changes and doing all that jizz jazz magoni. Uh, but yeah, we basically cut out the middleman this time, so we're not doing as much, but still, it's a pain in the old cock a doodle -doo. <laughs> so now finally we have made it again. So place this uh, cube on top of the other. What we're going to do is hit the white and then uh, make sure that the red block is right up against the wall then. And then what we need to do is hit that and then that should be fine. So we just need to hit the wall directly in front of us and then we should the, the block should fall and we should be able to just pick him up. We can drop down, just uh, pop this block anywhere. 
pop your thing, put it anywhere. Uh, hit the white, and then what we can do again is hit the then uh, the right hand side wall. Really don't know what the hell I'm doing right now. Uh, but just make sure that you've hit the right hand side wall and we can grab the other cube. And yeah, so what seemed to be like an eternity in walking around and grabbing these cubes, we're all done. So hit the white once again. We are going to need the red as well this time. So make sure you can grab that. Should be able to just grab that there from the corner. All good. Hi, guys. Right, let's pop the red in. It's obviously going to open up the doorway. Uh, we're going to hit the wall now directly in front of us with the green just next to the doorway. That'll uh, drop both of those. Um, with this first one, um, obviously just make sure to drop it first. Uh, you, you can sort of uh, just drop, pop it anyway. Uh, what we're going to do is drop down. And then we'll just place this ever so carefully on the right. Turn around and go back up. And hit the wall again, sorry. Uh, there should be a little, yeah, that right there. Uh, hit the pillar so we can pick up the uh, block. And just drop straight down. And for now, we can just place this anywhere you want. Really doesn't matter where. We'll just pop it there. Uh, turn back, hit the red. Go through the Colosseum. Oh man, this just looks like Italy, man. Assassin's Creed, that's your days, huh? So hit the pillar, and then what we're going to do is we are going to hit the pillar again. So we are uh, pop it down. Hit obviously the pillar again, and this time we can drop down once more. There we go. So straight down to get back into the area with the cube. Uh, now obviously what we're going to need is for us to grab the cube so there it is hit the wall in front of us just next to the door grab the cube and then we'll just do the same thing again so drop down hit the uh, pillar directly in front of us we're going to drop this down just to the right Doop. there we go and then we can turn around hit the wall and then we can now just head uh, through there's the block so we're going to hit that grab that and then drop off to the left there we go. Now, for some particular reason, this puzzle decided to make me hate it. And, uh, yeah, it really done my tits in. So, head forward. And then what we're going to do is back into this Roman Colosseum looking part. Uh, we're going to drop down to the left. Geronimo! Onto the middle platform. Drop down once again. And then we can drop down to the long platform and continue forward. So now we're going to turn directly around. What you're going to do is hit the wall with the blue light coming out of it right there. And then hit the wall in front of us again. And then what we can do is actually pick up the blue cube, which is exactly what we need. Um, hit the, uh, what we're going to do is head to the left out of the blue gloopy bit. Head left through the door, portal door. And then hit the wall on the left. It's a beautiful tree. Uh, hit the wall directly behind you. And I think that was actually a mistake for me there because we're hitting the other side directly in front of us. Yes, it was a little mistake because as you could see, a block from the left-hand side just uh, popped off. But we're going to grab one of these blocks anyway. Um, so let's drop this one down. Hit the wall in front of us. And then... Oh, well, sorry, I seem to have uh, screwed that up slightly right there. Uh, we actually need to be going straight forward into where the sort of portal door is. Um, hit the wall again in front of us so that we are on the floor. Hit the sort of outer edge of the portal door right in front of us there. And then if we turn around, we can drop down. Hit the wall to the left of us. Now we're going to hit the next sort of outer edge of the, so literally right by the cube right there. So we can just go ahead, pick it up. And then we are going to, oh, son of God damn it, son of a, uh, and what we were supposed to do was actually just drop down and then we were, we should have been able to be good to go. So if that happens to you, uh, just do the same thing there, head to the floor, head to the uh, edge. And now we can just drop very carefully drop down and in through to the next door. Uh, but obviously we'll need to interact with the um, 
left hand side wall so it should still be on the edge which is fine and then quickly what you need to do then when you drop down it can be very disorientating in this part very disorientating uh, but there we go so it should still be stuck once you're on the other side we can just grab it and finally drop down now what you do if you have a look up you can just see like sort of two gear cogs if you will uh, in sort of casing so what you need to do is just place it you can probably just see where the small square shadow is just so just place it on the sort of left hand side gear cog if you will then hit the floor so that we are sort of the right way up and then go directly in front of us so where the uh, gear sort of cogs or whatever they are on the left hand side we're going to go up the steps we're going to hit these steps and then that should hit it hit us down lovely so you should be able to just uh, jump across onto the platform There we go. If not, then just hit the wall Hit this uh, wall behind us when we drop down and then hit the uh, Hit the wall next to the block and that is how we'll grab that one. So from here. We can just drop down And same thing then if you take a look up we can see again bigger gear cogs smaller gear cogs what we're going to do is sort of put it uh, sort of square in the uh, sort of square in the middle this time so anyway uh, if we sort of uh, head it to the left actually um yeah sort of any one of those will be fine there you go so as long as it's on the sort of uh, sorry not the middle so if we're heading because we're heading for the left what we need to do is hit the wall and then go directly in front of us hit the wall again so the block should now hit the staircases right so once we've grabbed that then what you need to do is head down a couple of these little bits of weird steps first now what you have to do is on the right hand side of this sort of white edge thing you need to get through the goopiness so we're going to drop down here and then make sure that you are on the very right hand side so we can drop down to the goopiness uh, once we are done here we can just drop down again we are going to place this um, just underneath the sort of doorway right there so that it will, so we can obviously head forward. And then when we hit this left hand side of the doorway, it'll drop down for us. Oh, oh well, thank you for not crushing my head, Mario. It's -a me, Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt as Mario. Right, so we're going to drop down. What we're going to do is drop down to the right hand side. Um, don't continue dropping down what you need to do. I think it's like maybe the fourth one down it is So what we're looking for then is this little walkway uh, this little sort of walkway. you should be able to jump on which is fine uh, Place the cube the other side um, Now for me, it only seemed to be on the right hand side there falling down So if you continue to fall down you will grab this and get there eventually uh, grab the cube again and we are now finally back in the room with the other cube so we're going to place this on the shelf directly in front of us for whatever particular reason again i ha had just trouble with this one i don't know why so we're going to grab this uh this cube we're going to put this one in obviously the um uh switch whatever now the line where the line is coming out of we're going to pop this and we're going to have it hanging off the edge of the left hand side um sort of halfway through that's fine then we're going to go and grab this next cube we're going to put place it behind you on the opposite end of the shelf. Make sure that it is um, f hitting the going to be hitting the top square. Then hit the wall directly in front of you. Then hit the wall directly in front of you again. And then that is what it should look like. So that is what it should look like. Uh, hit the wall in front of you again. And now only one should drop down. If two drops down. You'll just have to continue trying to do that part again. Uh, for some reason, like I said, it took me embarrassingly about 10 minutes in order to do that. Um, but yeah, so the two cubes were stuck up there together. That's why one dropped off. Lovely. So effectively, you just have to get the um, shell or the, the the block in the right part. Now, for every particular reason, I, I do apologize. This is kind of embarrassing here, but uh, I sort of sucked at this part as well. All we need to be doing, you see sort of directly in well was in front of us we need to be following like these sort of patterns on the on the floor the patterns we're going on at the minute is obviously we're on the walls right now so what you need to do is get yourself on floor level 
um, which is just, uh, for some reason, I'm having mega troubles with right here. And obviously, as you can see, it's like the same pattern which is on the floor. That is just what we need to be following. So, uh, right now, we're on the ceiling. What the hell am I doing? Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, right. So, now just follow these sort of big, uh, big pattern on the floor here. Uh, again, do a little bit of apologize about that. I don't know what the hell was going through my nugget at the time. And now we're going to see another couple of cubes. So we're going to grab this red cube first. Obviously pop it straight in so we get a bit of a boom. We're going to hit the um, pillar straight in front of us and then hit the floor straight in front of us so we get some water. Uh, hit to the left, you can see another tree, which is another block. And then what we're going to do, we're going to redirect this uh, flow of water into the big square. Grab another blue block and plant a double gravity tree this time. Ooh, poosh. Tree Tree Evolution sounds like Dance Dance Evolution 2. And how many kids were good at Dance Dance Evolution back in the day in the arcade? Jesus, I wasn't. I got two left feet, me. Uh, so anyway, we drop down, we grab the blue. That's why I was never good at football, rugby, or anything. And I was very skinny. I looked more like a girl than a boy. Uh, anyway, enough uh, embarrassing stuff about me. Drop down, make sure to hit the wall right here so we can grab this red and blue. Uh, chunky boy. And then we can head back down. And then what we do, we're going to pop this sort of in the corner right there. It doesn't particularly matter where. Uh, but just head uh, straight in front of you and straight in front of you again. Bang. There it is. And then what we can do is just place this in. And we are good as golden nuggets to get the hell out of here, boy. So we can do forward past all the dark stuff until we get to around this corner. Um, that was the wrong corner we needed, sorry, so we don't need to hit the purple. Uh, we need to hit the opposite side wall, which is the greeny one. There we go. And then we can just drop down, hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the boom, boom, floor. And there we go, continuing on once again. We're coming up to dark section, the sort of finale of the game now. We've only got roughly about 10 to 15 minutes left of this playthrough. So hit the pillar straight in front of you here so it is green. So as you can see, the green nips onto the floor, the big playing card. Hit the wall again to the left so we're back on the floor. From here, we need to hit the same pillar but on the red side. So that'll hit the floor and then hit the purple wall again. Um, obviously, we're going to have to do some more watering. Um, hit the next side of the same pillar so that the yellow one will drop down. And then hit the floor again. So we are all good to go now in terms of a path. Uh, so uh, continue on. What we're going to do is drop down. Um, and you should end up on the first sort of path here with a couple of blocks. The first of many purple blocks we've had so far. So once we've grabbed that then, what we can do is uh, just drop down. We're going to direct the flow of water. Um... Here we go, we'll just turn it. We're going to direct the flow of water basically behind us, so straight on the, the same sort of card-looking path. So that'll do, pig, that'll do. Again, we will drop down. Kaboom. And grab the next block. And then we're going to drop... Um, in fact, we're not going to drop down. We're going to use it to power up this hydro wheel thing. So power up, power up the hydro wheel thing. And continue on forwards, my friends.
So eventually we're going to drop down after moving up all those stairs onto a green platform. Drop down onto the yellow platform and drop down onto the nothingness. Holy crap. Uh, right, so from here then, if we are looking at the big yellow platform, uh, head to the left and uh, hit the wall. That'll get the blue falling down or the blue and the, the sort of multicolored one. That'll start falling. And then if we take a little look up, we're going to see it fall. Hello. It's like a bad game of Tetris, isn't it? Yep. Wish Tetris. There we go. But that is the path we need. So hit the white, <laughs> the right slash white hand side wall. Um, go to the right of the big yellow platform. And uh, yeah, we are <laughs> we are genuinely coming to the end now. Sort of, sort of getting there. Very close, very close. Uh, so the other side of the yellow platform is where we need to be going. So head down and then obviously straight forward. In fact, no, we're not going straight forward. We're waiting for the next block to uh, Tetris itself on. There we go. Nice and red. So we can actually just drop down now and hit the wall to get back on the floor. Let the birdies hit the floor. Let the birdies hit the floor. Uh, heading up the steps here on the left. And again, continue up. Oh, man, there's a lot of walking, dude. We've had no food, no water. I'm so goddamn hungry and thirsty. And then from here, we'll just continue on the up and up. And then finally we have reached where we need to go and be. So we're going to pick up this yellow block first so we can uh, enter the way. We're going to pop it in the next switch. So that basically makes a bridge in front of us. Head back. We're going to grab a yellow bloke off a tree or orange or whatever bloody color that is. Again, the color blindness really, uh, really does take an, an effect. Whoopsie. Um, so yeah, and I know there's obviously way worse people off than I am, so I hope it doesn't affect their gameplay too much, because it's a brilliant game. Uh, but we're going to just drop this block off, and then we're going to go back, grab the next block. And now we can actually just drop off the edge ourselves. Again, like I said, I've said it many times through the game, just in case, because it's so easy to sort of try and drop a block off and then you accidentally fall. That's why I keep saying throughout the game, make sure to save regularly because uh, you don't want to be just wasting time doing minor inconveniency things, even though that's what I've done in this playthrough so far, which I, again, apologize for. So put one block down then so it is uh, facing the, well, facing the way of the, what looks like a kind of black hole thing. And then from here, we can just drop this yellow block down onto the next platform slash playing card. That's what it looks like. Uh, we can actually, we didn't actually need to redirect the water there, sorry. So we can just drop both blocks down again. This time we will be doing some redirecting of the water. Um, this time we are going to be hitting this to the left. Doesn't particularly matter where, uh, just make sure that the water is going to the left. Pick up the next yellow block. Now we need to make sure that this is going across the sort of strip, across the coloured strip. That'll be fine. Uh, as long as it's going across the coloured strip, because that is exactly what we need. So you can push forward, push forward, drop down, push forward, drop down, push forward.
Right, okay, so what we're gonna do, instead of heading up the steps here, we're gonna head to the right, and then we're gonna do a little dropping down again. So you can see the platform just below us, so make sure we are hitting that platform. Drop down, 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 down. There we go, pooping on the water. Poop on the water. Uh, so make sure that, again, that we're on that area. So when we grab a blue block, we can actually just uh, drop straight down again. Make sure to be landing on the platforms with the water running. And then what we'll do is uh, just continue on. And if we just drop down again, there we go. This is the area then that we need to be because we can grow a double tree. Take it away, growing a tree. Oh, yes. Mambo number 12. Right, to grab a blue block then, and then what you're going to do is pop this uh, right on the sort of outer edge. Um, sorry, there we go. So if you can see, like, directly in front of us, there's a little bit of an edge that goes out a little bit more than the others. That's where we need to be directing that water flow. Grab another blue one. And then we can just drop down again. That should get us on some platforms. Splishy splashy, and then what you're going to do then is, um, uh, well, apparently we're going straight forward. Sorry, I, I actually think I missed that first part. Uh, no, I didn't actually. We're growing another tree. Sorry, we're growing another tree. Taking a wee, having a bee, sting like a bee, float like some wee, and growing another tree. Right, so do the same thing here then. Grab it, and again with the sort of outer edge in front of us, make sure that it is flowing down. Grab the next bit of a wauto. Uh, grab the next block, sorry. Then we're going to drop down. And only this time we are going to continue straight forward. Yes. I'm pretty sure... Uh, pretty sure I may be potentially overkilling it right there. It's... I, I, that's the problem with this particular playthrough. Um, because obviously in the main playthrough, all you're doing is... Effectively just looking for the god cubes, whereas this one, we've got to do uh, maybe a few more things and a few less things. Um, but it's better to be safe than sorry, right? <laughs> Red. Um, but yeah, I think we're doing this about three or four times. Um, so with this one then, uh, this time we can actually just reflow and put this directly in front of us. So it is going down. So looks like it's going downstream. And then, yeah, just continue forward. And eventually, what you're going to find and what you're going to hear um, may take a little while to come through, but there's going to be a whole pinchy, punchy bit of darkness that's going to appear as we just drop straight down. And oh, uh, now, this is basically the tree with the last rainbow cube. But um, again, we're just going to be ignoring that. So what you are going to find is there is this dark circle. So it doesn't matter if you drop down whatever it is, uh, wherever you are. You will all that same dark spot, that same dark circle we've seen before, will always be in the same spot. So what we've got to do is just keep uh, continue dropping down on each platform until we basically are inside. Now, if you do what I do, that's very silly because uh, you're never going to make it there. So what we need to do is get to the sort of front of the building, as it were. Um, because as you can see, um, my luck with this is just uh, hmm. well, it's not going very well, is it? God damn it! So, if you can, after about six or seven times there, get to this part of the building. And then we should be able to just sneak our way down. And miss, apparently, again. Jesus Christ, what the hell? Try again. Hey, there we go, we got it this time. So, we are going to pick up the rainbow cube, but again, we're not going for the tree. So make sure if you accidentally find the tree, do not place it on. If you do, quickly reload your last save, whatever that is. Uh, but what we are looking for is, is sort of uh, the long bridge is what we're sort of looking for. It's a long bridge, looks like it's going into the main building. Um, so obviously not this platform, but the main building, which looks in like it's straight in front of us right there. So that's what we're sort of looking for. Again, and oh. Now, if that does happen, um, and your rainbow block starts uh, nipping off, you can either pick it back up, but if for whatever reason you, um, it obviously goes off, don't worry, you haven't placed it. It just genuinely means that um, 
you will have to just reset, restart that section again and just find this building again, that's all. Um, it basically just resets you if you drop it. So from here then, we are now into the sort of main building. We're definitely very much coming up to the end now. A few minutes left. So we're just going to continue walking forward. Really not much left to do now. When we head down these stairs, we're going to do basically a 360. Uh, but continue on the ground. Head uh, sort of left. Do, 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 do. How's my whistling? Whistling Willie says... Busy air whistling Willie. We're now in the mood. Uh, so if you head to the right, you can see one pillar has a little doorway type thing in front of it. And that's what we're looking for. So we're going to head to the right. Now keep an eye out on the left because there's another um, sort of platform we're going on. Uh, not platform, but another sort of way we're going from. Continue on. And again, if we continue uh, continue straight and then have a look at the left, there's going to be another platform that we are going to go down. So here it is right here. And then what we need to do is actually very carefully just drop off the ledge. And then... You, you see on the right-hand side, it kind of looks like a casino or something, but it's like, a, you know, bright white lights right there. Um, there is a doorway just underneath it. That is what we need to go through. So you just need to be very careful. Again, if you drop down, you'll just have to go and find that same pillar with the little secret doorway into it and uh, climb up. But that is the exit then. So what we'll do is drop down one. And as you can see, right in front of us, is the sort of bright, very obvious white lights. The doorway is just underneath it, so make sure that you are above the doorway, and then that is effectively job done. Nappa, nappa, nappa. As one Cardi Biznich would say. Uh, so this is now pretty much the end. It's It takes a few minutes for this final cutscene to appear and begin. And then we will get the achievement for uh, completing the game without placing any god cubes. And then it's on to playthrough 2. Yahoo! But yes, it's all unskippable. It's very crazy. This is basically, if you were to take acid or anything for the first time, this is pretty much what you'd see. I assume, because I'm a good boy. Eh.
The game is not enough, says Jigsaw from Saw 26, partnering up with Fast and Furious 26 to go into space to try and defeat an evil Jigsaw or something. Anyway, um, I've just, I'll nip it just through the credits. Again, this, the credits are unskippable, but brilliant game from everyone. Uh, so thank you to everyone who made the game. Very, very good. Very enjoyable. And we're on to playthrough two. Hurry. So are we ready? Yeah, let's do this. Now, um, obviously, there's a lot that is the same as uh, through playthrough one. So uh, obviously, like the beginning bit and everything. So I won't be talking as much through this one because hopefully you've got a mighty grasp of the game, especially with the beginning bit by now. So hopefully, um, I think I do end up going a, even a little bit slower uh, on this playthrough just to hopefully, so hopefully you can keep up a bit more pace. Um, but yeah, we'll just... Uh, start placing all the gold cubes. We'll get the rest of the achievements in this playthrough and it's job done So yeah, I won't be yammering my mouth just as much this time
So, is everyone okay with the uh, sort of voiceless first part of this uh, first level? I'm sure it's fine. I'm sort of wondering if I should talk, but yeah, anyway. We're all good. Uh, we are going to be coming up to the end now of this first level anyway. And obviously in the 0% playthrough, there was no levels, it was just nothing. Now we are going to be playing through. Obviously I will be talking more when we get to new puzzles later on, but I didn't think my voice was necessary with uh, the ones that we've already done, um, the first one. So again, this should be very familiar for you. So now what we're going to do, we've picked up this cube. Uh, now what you'll find is, if you're struggling to find um, something, um, you, you know, you'll know where to go because you'll be able to see like a pulsating effect. So there it is. Um, yeah, directly down in front of us, as you can see right there. So the pulsing effect is where the tree is, and that is exactly where we need to go. So this first one is going to be nice and easy. So all you've got to do is just find a similar um, a sil similar cube on the tree. There it is. And with that one, bam, that is level one over. A walk in the dark side achievement will unlock for collapsing the dark world. And we'll also get the achievement for completing 
the first blue level. So what you'll do then, what'll happen is after every level, you will get this little bit of a scene. Then we'll need to hold the A slash cross button on the Plaugenstausen. Well, isn't this Xbox versus FTC thing going very well? Not if you're the FTC. Well, the FTC won't let me be, you let me be me, so let me see. They try to shut down the Acti Blizzy deal, but they are nothing without me. That is a Phil Spencer meme, and I want to make it. Somebody needs to make a Phil Spencer meme there with Eminem's blonde hair and those lyrics. That would be, that would complete it awesomely. So pick up the blue leveled rainbow cube and then just continue on heading straight until you place it in the little rainbow box. And that'll be the first level complete and we'll go on to level two. And the way we begin level two is by simply walking forward, running forward, sprinting forward, and interacting with the next switch, like this one, ba-ding, and away we go again. And oh, you yeah, that looks like fun to just drop down, doesn't it? So drop down, interact with the wall in front of us, and simply drop straight down until you're smashing your absolutely non-existent ankle bags. Yeah. Oh, oh, it seemed like a very uh, underwhelming explosion right there. So, heading through, and we're into... Now, some of these rooms may look familiar, some of these rooms may not, uh, but we're going to go straight uh, up, first of all. And then we are going to hit the wall in front of us, and then we can just drop down. Go to the left, hit the wall in front, and now we should be able to simply, eventually, just sort of drop down. There we go, hit the wall on the left and then hit the wall uh, straight in front of us to grab one of these orange blocks. Now this will look familiar because um, it's the one with the portly staircase. So obviously we need to grab one of the blocks in here. We need to head up or down, which will probably be down. And we need to just go ahead and pop them, you know. You know, we've seen this one. Now we need to go and grab another block, put it in the other side and then climb up the stairs. You see it, man, you know. Same thing as the last time with this room then, before heading forward, we're just gonna, we're just gonna hit, uh, press the right trigger button here on the switch, drop straight down, and get onto the old purple bags.
so far so good, yeah. Okay, so we'll remember this big room. Originally, we uh, messed around with six blocks. We're not going to be doing that this time, but we are going to be heading for the ladder in the back. So we are going to uh, climb up the same set of ladder stairs. Ladder, last stairs. That's what the French call it, isn't it? Last stairs. Um, we're going to interact with the switch and head into the next room. Hit the wall on the left. So we are on the ground, effectively. Uh, head forward. Hit the next wall on the left. And then hit the next wall right in front of us. And here we are then with these two. So again, this is exactly the same as the first time that we went through it. So again, just follow along. Or if you remember what to do quicker than me, then be my guest, chicken breast. So the first time then, we just dove straight off here. This time we're going to go to the right and continue onwards from Mia. Who designed this game with so many stairs? There's one thing that people don't need is lots of exercise in video games. Um, <laughs> we get told to exercise in real life. Well, we'll just do it in video games instead, huh? Right, so hit the wall in front of you twice. So we got the yellow tree with an orange block sticking out of it or green or whatever the hell color that is. Uh, again, as I said, my eyes are pretty uh, bonked, uh, as it were. Uh, so head up the steps here onto the platform. And then obviously what we're going to be doing is just popping this out of the other side. There we go. Just let it go. Let it go. Hit the wall right next to you and in front of you. And then when we go outside, it should be roughly. Uh, in fact, it's going to be on top of the roof. <laughs> so what we're going to be need to doing is dropping down. So we hit the wall in front of us there. We will drop down and again. Now, what we can do, if we can turn around and quickly hit the wall, um, if you're very quick enough, if not, drop down. And obviously, there it is, looking golden, olden, and, well, all alone. Show your friends. <laughs> no thanks, the last time I showed my friends anything, they uh, stopped being my friends. Uh, <laughs> that's just a joke, I don't show my friends anything. <laughs> Nothing like that. So anyway, moving on from the awkwardness, here is the annoyingness of the next pinball bit. So we hit the left wall here, so we can go down and hit this switch. And there it is. Now it is effectively nothing like the last one. So uh, follow along, hit the wall behind you. And then from here, we're gonna hit the wall behind us again, the sort of purple. And there it is. And then if we go behind us again, so that it is green, and then from here, we're going to hit the wall. If we drop down and make sure that it is yellow, then that will nip open the door for us. Again, I do apologize if some of the colors I say are not <laughs> what it is on screen. Uh, yeah. But you get, you know, you get what I'm coming from anyway. So, yeah. Owl good, man. Owl good. Right. 
So continue forward, that is not the last of the annoying pinball bit, by the way. We've still got quite a little bit to do yet. Uh, hit the wall on the right, grab old Oxo Red Cube, and head up the steps. Yeah, and head up the steps. And pop it in right now, get, get yourself a nice little staircase going. Now this is the annoying bit. Right, we are going to drop down, and we will drop down again onto the big massive platform here. So we'll do it, look up, turn directly around, so you're sort of doing a 180. And, well, you can see a tree in front of you. Make sure you're hitting sort of the left-hand side of the tree on top of, uh, well, as, sort of as far on top as you can, and then hit the wall behind you. And then we will be able to grab this orange, orange block. From here then, we will be dropping down. Got to be very careful again. Now, this is where I would... Potentially, uh, well, I say potentially, I, I say make a lot of saves every time you drop down. Uh, so continue to drop down. And oh, if you just miss it the first time like I did, you obviously seen that we're trying to go for the switch. There it is. Oh, straight in, boy. I am Michael Jackson. J Jordan. Jordan, damn it. I'm, I'm the king of basketball. Okay, I'll just shut up now. Right, hitting the wall in front of us there, so we are effectively on the ground again. We're going to drop down onto the pipe. I'll just call it a pipe. No, it's not a pipe, but you know what I mean. Pipe it up. Uh, just follow it around, and then we will uh, drop down. Like I said, it is definitely worth making a lot of saves because it can be easy. If you end up um, messing up as we just drop onto the platform to the right, if you end up falling and messing up, it's easy to lose yourself in the music the moment you own it. You better never let it go, go. So that's why I say every time that we make a drop down, just make a quick save. So from here then, we're going to hit the pillar in front of us with a black line on it. And then turn around and we'll hit the wall again. And then we will, there it is, so just make sure that it is in the, the pinball is in the same spot. And then we're going to hit the sort of left or the right side of the pillar of where the black line was. So blue, like the lighter blue, yeah. So once we've done that, this is what it should look like. We can drop down now. That is where the ball should be. And then we'll drop down again. Like I said, it's very easy to fall off and very easy to lose yourself uh, and get very disorientated. So make a save, make a save. Right, we can just drop down onto the big platform. And that is where the ball should be right now. And then what we'll do then, we are going to drop down again onto the yellow line or green line or, you know, whatever. And then right in front of us then, what we're going to do, we're going to very quickly turn around and on the right hand side of this pipe pillar thing, we're going to um, drop down and then we're just going to interact with the sort of platform floor behind us again. Eventually. Ah, there we go, look. And then what we're going to do is sneak our way over to the right. So just sort of uh, very carefully hit the right. So we're just going up. And then the ball should be in the top right-hand corner. Again, hit it behind you then. And then we're going to sneak off to the right. So it's yellow. That'll get the ball down. And then if we hit the platform floor behind us, that means it has gone. So here we go again. Make a manual save. Definitely, definitely worth doing it in this section again. I'll stop saying make manual saves. You know what you're doing. Uh, so we'll just continue on. And then what we'll do, we'll go up to the end of this pipe, turn to the left, and we'll drop down. Ooh, scary stuff, man. And then this time, as we end the pipe, we are going to hit it, so we will continue onwards. And then when we get here, we're going to turn to the left, and then we are going to make a little drop for it. So we are going to land on the pipe directly, uh, sort of to the right, just underneath, if you can. Hopefully you should be able to be in this section right here. So we're going to turn around, then hit the pipe. That's where the ball uh, just got underneath us. And then we'll, um, so from here then, so yeah, so that's where the ball should be. And then if we take a little look down, we are going to drop down here as well. So droop, drop, droop your stuff. Right, to continue sort of onwards. And we're going to be hitting this side. That'll get the ball to drop again. And then we're going to, if we um, have a look, sort of, there uh, we go in. There's the ball. So we are going, sorry, this bit got slightly confusing. So we're going to drop down. Yeah, we're going to drop down. 
and we are going to hit the lower of the pipes this time. So the lower of the pipes with the wall in front of us. Uh, so if you manage to get on the upper pipe, just make sure you try and get on this lower pipe. We'll hit the wall in front of us. The ball will drop down. We will drop all the way down. All the way down. And we're going to land on this pipe right here. So, boom. There we go. So once we have landed, uh, we will... Uh, just drop down again. In fact, I think we are just dropping down. I think we, we are almost finished with this section, finally. Uh, but just drop down again until we're on the actual platform itself. With the sort of line coming out of it right there, we need to hit the wall. And then we can just hit the wall again. So this line with the laser beam sections, that's what we're talking about. And then from here, we will, if we go to the right of the pillar... And then right again, so you sort of look in, uh, oh, in fact, we're going for the green. Sorry, my apologies, we were going for the green, which was to the left of the pillar right there. Then hit the floor again. Like I said, it, it did get very confusing, this section. Definitely one of the trickiest sections of the game. Now we're going to hit the opposite side with the yellow side there. So the ball pops down again, so we can hit the floor. And then what we'll do then is we're going to hit the red side. Here we go, hit the floor behind. And yeah, yeah, that's all we needed. And finally, this goddamn son of a goddamn laser section's finished. And this will be the last uh this is the last thing we do in this level. So now we're just gonna go ahead and find the little dark spot, which is there we go, straight in the corner. So again, just uh fall down until you hit that G spot, yo. Or D spot, I should say. Yeah. There we go. So we got there eventually. Once we've grabbed that, we will grab El Cubo. And remember to find, uh, if you're ever struggling, just to find. One place that is sort of pulsating with squares or whatever. So we're going to head up the steps anyway. Because uh, if you can't find it, well, they're going to be pretty much up the steps. So we'll continue. We'll continue on. And when we get up the steps, what we're going to do is turn around, jump off onto the platforms. Uh, we are going to continue on. Then when we hit the right, there is the tree. Stick it in, son. Get in there. And that is the end of the second level. And then just like the last time, you'll have to hold the A button on that weird uh, cutscene or whatever coming up. And then just continue to move it forward. Lovely jabbly. Okay, man, on to the next level now. All right, so this, uh, I think we're already starting to get into the point where we're going to be doing quite a bit of walking. So we interact with the switch in front of us, nip in, hit the wall straight in front of us, and again, straight in front. <coughs> oh, sorry. Uh, there will be this blue cube, so stick it, roll it, put it in a, put it in a. Uh, man, I'm losing my mind already. 
and it's 10 o'clock in the morning and I've already lost it. Well, welcome to my life, everyone. So we've continued up the stairs then with this blue cube. What we're going to do is head to the opposite side. You can see the door just to the right of us there. So that's where we're heading. Now, of course, this scene will also be very familiar to you. This is where we actually started getting the six blocks, only this time we ain't getting no six blocks, bruh. We ain't doing nothing like that. We are going to head down into the same area. And obviously what we're going to do is uh, get the water flowing and grow a nice little tree bags for us. So we grab a cube, we're going to do some redirecting of the water. So where we are from uh, where the tree is on our left, we're going to put the water straight down. Uh, and then we will uh, grab this next cube block, whatever you want to call it. I've called it about 17 different things in this playthrough so far, which is nice. And then obviously from here, then we are just going to use it on the uh, hydro energy water bro. Yeah, this one. There we go. So it's a lot, a lot, a lot easier and a lot less annoying than the last time we played this level or this part, anyway. There we go. Continue on. Hit the wall straight in front of us. Ooh, and then we're into the next area. Here we are. Then, so grab old greeny, greeny snob cube, and then what we're going to do? We're going to do some more redirecting. So basically, straight out the eye, the the eye buggery uh, door portal thing. Grab the next cube on the left, and then pop yourself out. Head all the way to the end, and you're going to see the next hydro energy water thing. Uh, well, we will be doing that in just a minute. We're actually going <laughs> to grow another tree for us first. Head back. Splashy, splashy. Might as well have some fun. Uh, grab the cube, which is um, on the tree. Obviously, we need the water to keep going, so... We will grab the cube off the tree. And then what we'll do then from here, now we can actually turn it to the left into the hydro energy water broski. So go ahead and grab yourself another delicious piece of blocky, blocky cheese. And then we'll head towards the hydro capsule of energy dude thing. And then what we'll do from here, you can see where the water is flowing. So let's uh, let's do some more stuff because we are going to put it right in the sort of square in front of us. Go back, grab another block and then make it to use another tree. So this time what we'll do before we go ahead and grab another snob tree, we will basically, we are going to just turn this uh, cube around or this block around so that the water is facing to the left of us again, or to, to the left of where we are now. So again, it can be kind of weirdly finicky like that. But once you've done that, grab El Blocko. And as you can see, because we've done that, more water has gone nuts, mate. Uh, so we're heading back up to the sort of uh, original tree-ish. And now we can actually put the uh, block here so we can get some more electric electronicity running. Electricity. Grab another block from the tree. Head back the sort of way we came. And then we're going to go past this little energy crisis thing. Welcome to Britain. Energy crisis levels. Because the Tories suck bells. Because they want the poor to, well, be even poorer. Stupid Tories. Right, anyway, uh, after we've just directed the water flow right there, we are now going to grab a, another block from the tree. As you can see, the water is not here anymore, which is fine, just fine. That's what we need. So once we've grabbed this then, because we've already got the one green stuff going, this time we are now going to put this block and we're going to put him right in the way of the other block in front of us so that we'll get the next uh, 
energy electro thing going, and that'll get the lasers going. And that is effectively the end of this level. So now, as you know, we've got to go and find Dark Blob Bags. And if you want to know where he is, well, you've probably just seen him as I turned around about 60 million times there. But better to go in front of us, huh? So, uh, we'll interact with the tree, because this will just be easier, and then that'll uh, make us drop down. We can then interact with the wall behind us, which is basically the floor. And there it is, but we do have to wait for a minute. Sometimes it gets locked, I think you just have to wait. There it is. So, once we've waited enough time and it's unlocked, if it's already unlocked, we can now pick it up. And you can already see then these squares which were just the left of where we picked the block up, or sort of straight in front of us now. There's the tree. So we will just have to do a little bit of drooping and dropping. And here we go again, mate. So, let's crack on then. Now that green level is complete, we are now on to this level, which is yellow or something, maybe. So anyway, we're going to hit the wall in front of us first. And then what we'll do, we are going to take a little, we're going to take a little walk here all the way down to get some trays. Trays. And then what we'll do is obviously hit the wall behind us when we get there. Make sure you're on the sort of top of the ledge there so we can grab a couple of greenies. And then with one greenie, what we will do is we are going to put the block sort of right. Make sure that the arrows are sort of pointing to the right because obviously we're going to be doing a bit of a water flow directing of the flowing directoring. Not Harvey Weinstein directoring, by the way. That's terrible directoring because he is a pervert. Um, <laughs> among many in Hollywood, let's, let's face it, among 90% of Hollywood, I expect, uh, 95% anyway. So once we have got the water flowing, we, <laughs> we will drop down. There we go. And then hit the wall behind us. So we are now going to be able to grab a purple block. Once we have grabbed that purple block, go across the now frozen green water lake or whatever it is, put it in. Put it in, put it in, put it in. Anybody who's ever watched Ms. Rachel with kids will know exactly what the hell that is. It's annoying, but it helps. Right, so into the portal room then. This is the portal room, if you remember from the uh, the first time that we've done this. Uh, but there's nothing different about this this time. We are literally going to be redirecting the water flow as it was the first time. So if we head into the next room with the water, um, yeah. So, if you remember what to do, it should be easy enough this one. So, nothing different this time.
Now, luckily for us, the door is open this time, so we don't need to be messing around with the six blocks and everything, so we can just continue straight forward. So what we'll do, we're going straight into the main room this time. We're going to grab a block off, and then what we're going to do is just uh, immediately here reflect or redirect the water into the door straight in front of us. There we go. There's one. So we will go ahead, grab another block. And if we go into the doorway, what we'll do now is redirect the water so it's going down the steps. Or apparently going both ways. Uh, <laughs> effectively, it doesn't matter. Uh, if it goes both ways, well, we're happy with that. Now we're going to head down the steps. Man, imagine one. And then we are going to obviously redirect the water into the energy thing. Uh, but imagine, I tell you what, it just reminds you of toddlers when they just um, keep the, the sink running and then it just floods all the downstairs. Woof. Man, lucky I haven't had that just yet. Touch wood. Um, I would prefer to not have a uh, water seeping through my stairs. It's probably more fun in American houses, British houses genuinely sag donkeys right so hitting the wall in front of us anyway <laughs> once we just followed the linear path hitting the switch in front of us and oh, man these rooms uh but you continue up the steps for now anyway dun 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 it's a trap we've been locked in no, right, so if we head to the sort of far left wall that we can, so it is red, and then we'll hit the wall in front of us. And then we finally get some stuff going. So let's grab one of these cubes. We are obviously going to change the color on it. So we will need to go back, grab the other one, change the color on this one as well. There we go. Then once that is done, go towards the back of the room, hit the wall, hit the wall again in front of you. They'll both drop, of course, as purple as purple can be. And then we can just pop that on. Lovely stuff, job done. What you're going to do is grab the next one as well. Keep that running, gunning. Uh, put it on the washing line right here to change the color. So you're all, you know, you get all the hippie dye tie stuff. Hippies! And that'll drop down, lovely. Boosh! And then let us surge on. Sergio Perez. So if we look to the sort of uh, right hand corner on the edge right here, that is the platform that we need to be aiming for. So just fall down and see if you can do a Michael Jordan dunk. I, w I wouldn't say Michael Jackson dunk because, uh, oh, you know, it's a little bit awkward. <laughs> anyway, I missed uh, spectacularly right there. So uh, we can continue on anyway. Hit the wall, of course, in front of us. Hit the glass in front of us, even.
So what you're going to do then, we're just going to drop straight down. So after we've done all that bit of Q bit, of course, that uh, level we just came through should have been very familiar to you. Uh, as it was one of the very early ones in the 0% playthrough, as you will remember. And this is another one that will look all too familiar to, for, uh, to you as well. So obviously with the red block, we're going to make a bridge uh, by popping it in here. Then with the other red brick, we're going to change the color, etc., etc. So this is, again, pretty much exactly the same as the first playthrough we've done. So yeah, a lot of those puzzles uh, we done very early on in the 0% playthrough. This time, when we get to this bit, we're not actually going to jump because uh, <laughs> I made sure to land on this the first time. We don't actually need to do it this time, so I was uh, kind of annoyed with that. We do actually need to just drop down and continue on um, as we were doing normally. So uh, yeah, it's not why I haven't said anything again for a while, just because we we obviously done this. There's been no change to these sort of puzzles on this level as we've done the first time round.
So we've obviously done um, we've obviously done this puzzle as well, but I do things a little bit. I think I do them a little bit differently this time. Um, in fact, I've made it easier this time. Hilariously, so we need to do then with this block right here. We need to make sure that the shadow is at the top of the switch. Head into the opposite side room. Uh, hit the purple and then the green straight in front of you. Um, that, now that will get one working, but we'll come back to that. Grab the green off the tree. And then what we'll do, we are going to put this one uh, directly on top of the cube that is already down. Trust me, it makes all the sense in the world. So if you can, just put it directly on. If not, then just make sure it's on anyway. Hit the wall in front of you, and again. And then, oh, would you look at that? Beautiful. Right, so what we can do now is, now that that one is frozen in place, we can just put this one over to the left-hand side. Again, make sure that the shadow is on top. And that, is, uh, that it will be on the switch. Go and grab another cube. Pop this one uh, in the place of the other cube. So that'll get that going lovely. Hit the wall in front of us again. And again. And it will drop down. Now we can go ahead, grab this cube. Pop it down. And yeah, boy, it's a free flow. We've done it. Let's go, baby. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So this bit did confuse me a little bit first, actually. So what we have to do, when we pop the red in, um, we need to wait for the red platform to drop down. But we actually have to interact with the pillar in front of us first to get that one out of the way. Then turn around, uh, hit back so you can be on the floor, and then the red one will appear. That one stumped me for quite a bit, in all fairness. I was wondering why nothing was happening. And then we can just continue on. So when we get to this part, uh, if we jump to the top platform, we basically just need to be reaching the middle platform. So don't drop all the way down this time. We're gonna go reach the second platform, go across to the other side and pick up the one single lonely cube that appears to be ruling over every other cube. I am Philip Scof... <clears throat> wrong cube, sorry. Wrong, <laughs> wrong pube. Uh, <laughs> 
Apparently Philip Schofield likes his men without pubes. Uh, right, sorry. Anyway, so we hit the wall and then we hit the wall again. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a Michael Jackson and a Philip Schofield joke in this. I I'll stop. I'll stop. When we drop down, we're going to hit the wall immediately, straight away. So if you're ready to do it, again, make a save because it's always worth doing. And there we go. Make sure to hit the wall immediately. So we are basically on the floor again. And then from here, we can just drop down to the left. And then hit the wall in front of us. And then hit the wall behind us. And here we are then. Down, 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 down. Oh, oh technically up, 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 up. Now we're going all the way around and hitting all of the switches to open up the doors. So now we are going to be heading outside. So if we sort of from the tree right here, we'll turn around. So basically where we are on the tree was on our right hand side. We're going to continue on and forward. And then what we'll do now is rah, drop down, turn yourself around so we can hit the um, one of these platforms. Not those ones, not those ones. In fact, yeah, these ones, these ones, the ones with the big cards and the big platforms on them, the, the big colored platforms or whatever. So when we drop down, we will interact with the red side of this pillar heading up or heading forward. And then from here, we can just drop down onto the next section. And that will uh, enable us to grab this red cube. And from here, what we're going to do is grab this cube. And what we're going to do, make a break for it. Yeah, drop down one, two, three, four. Uh, so effectively, we're just dropping all the way down until we get to the next colored platform section. Um, now, the plan actually was there to get, I believe, on top of the building, which I mashed up. So, yeah. We'll try that one again, I think. Come on, Kia, we haven't got a day. So yeah, we need to be trying to land on top of the building, as you can see. Oof, so you should just about make it there. Once you've done that, pop it in, and that will get the laser going. And we can now find the darkness of the D spot. Everyone knows the G spot, but there's always that hidden D spot. And the hidden of the D spot is... We just take a little look over the edge. No. So this is where we're actually dropping down because it's hidden quite well this time. We'll drop down into the hole. Well, not drop down, but we will get here. Now we can drop down. Ah, oh, your sneaky little butt. Right, uh, now this time around, it's a little bit more complicated to get to the tree. It's not just drop down and there it is. We've got to do a little bit of platforming and Assassin's Creed, you know, hay bale jumping and stuff. The leaps of Foth. Right, so from here then, once we have grabbed the cube, we're going to drop down. As of course. Miss all these platforms, and then we're going to get to this part. So, once we drop down, again, if you haven't, you should be able to reach the door. In fact, it's not that complicated, sorry. And uh, that is the next level. Um, but yeah, so that's all we have to do. Drop down, make sure you get to the one with the open doors. That's why we opened up all the doors earlier. And there it is. And now you do your normal stuff, and on to the next level. Hooray.
at the three hour mark now. <laughs> Excuse me, I need a drink. Okay, right, so we've hit past three hours, so for now it is more linear pathings for the time being. Thank God we don't have to take all those stairs. We'll take a look down to the left, drop down. Boom, that's all we need. Thank goodness for that. Right, hit the switch and into the next washing clothesline area. Hit the wall in front of you. And then we're going to grab one of these next blocky blocks. Now we're going to go up the steps, first of all. There we go. And we're going to place this one on the blue cube. Trust me, this will all make sense. Oh, the blue switch, sorry. This will all make sense in just a bit. So you grab the next one. We are going to use the washing line. For some reason, I decided to go all the way over there. Um, then hit the wall in front of us. So it is... Uh, no, sorry, to the right of us. So it's red. Sorry, my apologies. So that we can drop it down, get it red. And then from here, what we can do is actually just very carefully, very carefully, we're going to drop it down. There we go. So as long as you were in line there with the line, that should be good. Um, we're going to go back once. We are now going to grab this next cube. We are going to change it with the blue washing line. And then we'll just do the same thing. So hit the wall with the line on. There we go. Pick that one up. And then you can just drop it down and it should. Now, I actually messed that one up ever so slightly uh, because I was supposed to get it in line. As you can see, that didn't go well at all. But you can just drop down and interact with it and that will get the door open. And yeah, grande. So now we're going to drop both of these purple cubes down. So just be careful here. Again, make any manual saves. And then we're going to drop it down. Make sure that it hits the platform below. And then just go ahead, grab the other one and drop it down. Wow, Michael Jordan, yes! I am a basket ballage now. The ballage of baskets is in my balls. Eh. Uh, hmm. Never mind. Anyway, once you've hit the two purpley bits on there, um, pretty, I think that's pretty much it for this level. It's a for short one. We're going to uh, hit the bridge straight in front of us. Hit the glass straight in front of us. So from here, go onto the edge. When we drop down, we're going to hit the glass uh, as quick as we can. Boop, there we go. So we can hit that one. Um, and then we're going to hit the stairs directly in front of us. What we'll do then is turn around, hit the platform just underneath the glass, like so. And now, make sure not to go on the glass because you can't actually get out. So go along the platform and then you can hit the red wall. And I accidentally done that. We need to be hitting the red switch. So, my bye. Mm -hmm. Okay, so once we're here, we're going to grab the red block. We're going to change it to El Grino on the left-hand side. So pop that one in on the washing line. Um, go back down, grab the next red cube. And then we're going to put that on the blue washing line of life. What we'll do then is if we head to the right, and then we interact with the green dot. And then straight in front of us, that will get both of those down. So we've got one blue-purple type thing. Um, we're going to pop this one on the red square of course that will all you know that'll all be decided in just a minute go up grab the next cube pop that one on top of the cube the old one that's frozen in place interact with the wall directly in front of you grab this next blue cube and we're going to place it just on the edge just on the right hand side edge then we can interact with the wall behind us again that will give us this green cube, but we are going to actually just interact with the stairs now. 
So sorry, I did get a little bit confused, a little bit more confused with that one. We can now go ahead and grab the, in fact, we'll drop down. Sorry, <laughs> pain in the ass. I know uh, we, I was actually meant to just go ahead and grab the cube there. So that was another mistake on my part. So again, apologies. This is a bit of a pain in the old butt, butt snatch section. Uh, but once we grab the red cube, pop it on top right there. And that should be enough to get us in. So yes, I do apologize for like the millionth time. I uh, got a little bit more confused with that than I possibly should have. So, as you can see, we got the, uh, the, the Dark D spot going now. So, it's literally just a case of dropping down to the right and getting yourself in it. And... So this is the one that is slightly more complicated then, so what we're going to do is head sort of behind where we got the one cube, we're going to drop down, or have I just lied to you again? I think I might have just lied to you again, you know. Oh, uh, yes, I do believe, yes, I did lie to you again, sorry, it's on the next, <laughs> it's on the next level where <laughs> it's a bit more complicated, sorry, uh, the tree was just directly there, so yeah, job done. <laughs> So we just made a double double tree, a double negative energy plus positive HIV tree or whatever you want to call it. What we're going to do then is uh, redirect the water flow so it's right by the waterfall here. Um, there we go. So we should just pass the stairs right in front of us is where we need it. And then once we've got down to the other end, we're going to head up the steps. We're going to grab this red cube and we're going to redirect the water flow um, right off the very sort of edge Again, sort of the edge panel or the edge platform right in front of us. And yeah, there we go then. So we basically effectively opened the door. That's why we needed to do it right off the... <laughs> Had to be quite specifically accurate there. Yeah, Man, this is video games. We all know video games have no logic. So we'll drop down and hit the wall in front of us. And then from here, what we can do, we are simply going to drop. Ah, Skaboosh again, more skabooshing. So uh, interact with the stairs here to get the blue block going, or the purple block, the one that is coloured bluey purple. Uh, head back up the steps. And we're going to do some more redirecting of the zero watt there. And we'll do it again, so straight off the edge in front of us, off the biggest uh, sort of platform. Drop down, interact with the wall on the left. We're going to grab another block. There we go. And then this time we'll just continue straight forward through the door. 
up the next set of steps. From here at this little crossroads, we're going to drop down to the right on the old water ice bridge. And as you can see, the switch is going to be right there. So we're uh, getting there. Getting there now, kids. Oh, yeah. So after we finish the loveliness of that path, we're going to grab this cube, we're going to turn it around, and we are going to be doing a little bit of dropping now. So, are we ready, gladiators? Go! Drop! Nay! And it's effectively just straight down onto this big platform right here with all the darky dark stuff on it. Uh, pop the cube in. And, um... I mean, that's effectively it. That's effectively the end of the level. That's how short and easy this level is, but we do have to find this. Is, now, this is actually the complicated-ish one. So we drop down onto these sort of ledge stairs, as it were. Drop down, we're going to grab the cube. This part's lovely and easy. And then what we'll do, we will turn it slightly to the right. And again, we're just going to drop down so that we are on the big sort of stair path type things. That is what we're looking for. No, well, maybe if we just drop off the edge here. Yeah, that'll do. It doesn't matter where you go, because they're all the same. So, uh, what we're going to do then, when we get here, you might have got a yellow tree in front of you. To, for, for me, it's on the right-hand side, so that's fine. Literally, that's honestly generally fine. So, what we're going to do is, the first time I tried running through this, I had no idea where I was going, what I was doing. So... There's the tree, not the tree we're looking for, but there's basically a, a stairway that you can easily miss. Or well, sometimes it's a stairway for some reason, other times it's a drop. So um, for me, it was a drop. I don't know if it's the same, I don't know if it's an update or whatever, but if we have a look here, it's not the, it's not this one, but it will be the next one. And again, it can, it's so easily missed because you wouldn't even think to look there. But there it is. There's the door that we can see, so we can actually just drop straight down and head in. But that's not the end of it yet. So, the tree is up above us. So, what we'll have to do here is drop down and continue to do so. And you think, bro, what the hell, man? Well, that's fine, because there's a hidden doorway right there. I mean, it's not so hidden when you see it, but uh, we'll head up the steps. Now, we're just sort of going to go on this sort of linear path back onto the watery ice bridgey type thingy, bridgey type thing bridge. Still not quite done yet. This time, we're going to drop to the left. Drop to the right. Head around and up the stairs. Yeah, there we go. You are some. You are so fantastic at games, you guys. Yeah, man. Okay, so awesome. And finally, we have made it. So next, we will just be doing the normal things, and then it's on to the final rainbow level, which is the longest in the game, but by no means the most complicated. And you can always tell it's a rainbow level because, you know, they got different colors and stuff. Now, those that are homophobic are now completely scared of rainbows for whatever particular reason. Um, I, <laughs> I don't know why, but, uh, you know. So people who want to expressively free themselves are like, yay, the rainbow, it's, uh, you know, it helps us identify and etc, etc. And then all the ones that don't believe in people being happy 
are really scared of rainbows, which honestly is hilarious to me. Uh, remember the World Cup in Qatar? Take off the rainbow hat, bro. Br bruh, it's, it's just colours, man. It's it, it's not like if you're a dude, another dude is going to penetrate you, is it? Do you know what I mean? Jeez, man. Stop being scared of rainbows, homophobes. And just stop being scared of people being happy. That'd be nice as well. Anyway, on to the next part. We'll talk more about uh, people being scared of rainbows for some reason a little later on. So we're doing a bit of... Um, um, yeah, water direct in, making a big tree, so we're going to grab a block. So yeah, this level is about 20 to 22 minutes long, but again, it's not the most complicated. A lot of it is just sort of walking and joking about. Walking and joking. Uh, so we're going to drop onto this tree, and we can just continue straight forward, put the block on, and we can hit the wall straight in front of us. Make sure that you are going to jump up onto the pillar here, and then you can hit the floor to the right of us. And there we are then, so we're on to the next bit. So carry on, pop that one in, and away we go. Big old doors now. So we're just continuing to follow the linear path. Now about halfway on these stairs, we are actually going to just drop off to the left. So right about, right about, uh, sort of anywhere right now. Because what we're going to do is obviously jump straight on to one of these platforms. Platforms that we're jumping on is... The one directly in front of us, which I've missed about four or five times. There we go. Uh, so the one with the tree, that's what we were aiming for then, the purple tree. So we'll grab that one. And now once again, we're going to do some redirecting of the old water. Uh, just we'll drop that one down first. Uh, go ahead and grab a second one. And then what we'll do with this one, we'll drop this one down as well. Oh, in fact, we're dropping down with it. Sorry, I thought we were grabbing the third one, but not quite. Right, so uh, that one is dropping down. Let's just change. Let's just change it up a bit, is it? So, since it's already going that way, that's fine because we need the water to drop where we're going straight in front of us. And when that one is done, we can drop down with it. And then don't crack on first. We're going to uh, head backwards, drop down one platform, and then now we're going to actually go ahead and grab the next and third purple cube off this tree. Head up the steps. Oh. Excuse me, I would like my, my I would like my pubes back, uh, my cubes, my Cuban pubin, Cubish pubes. Yeah. Anyway, I wonder if um, people from Cuba call their pubes Cuba puba, Cubish pubish, the cubes pubes. <laughs> anyway, once you've um, popped this one down, that will actually open up the door for us. Big door on the right, so follow it and get out of here. So go ahead, grab the next red cube. When we are into this next chunky room, we're going to uh, go slightly left and interact with the big yellow washing line. Right at the end. Apparently I was drunk then, I was going from right to left. So once you pop that in, interact with the pillar here to our left, and then we are going to grab the cube. Make sure to grab el, el cubos. And then you can see uh, a platform just below. So make sure you're aiming for that, and then we can drop down. It was the one below, so I actually went to the one to the left first, which means I messed it up. Um, but it's the one to the right, so that's the one that we're going on. From here then, we can just turn around with the line, interact with the wall, so we're effectively back on the floor. Go ahead, grab yet another red Cuban Huben. And then we will continue forward, and we are actually going to be going up the steps.
Now this bit may be slightly confusing, but basically we just have to keep interacting with the different colors on this one in order to get the colored platforms down. So first of all, we are going to interact with the purple side, so the one with the black line is. And eventually you're going to see... Well, something's going to happen. There it is. So <laughs> directly above us, that's where we're going. So now we can interact with the floor. Once we've done that, we are going to... Uh, are we going to drop down? We are dropping down. We're dropping down big time, lad. Onto the tree. So that's where we need to go next. Onto this big red tree. We actually need to grab a red block. And then we can just drop straight down onto the blue platform. Bluish, greenish platform directly in front of us. So there we go. Uh, what we'll do now, we will actually obviously stick the red cube in. Oh, yeah, that opens up the doorway for us, baby. Spank your hairy crutch. So you will definitely remember this room from the last time. I'm a bit less confused uh, from, the <laughs> from the first playthrough, so you'll be thankful to know that one. So obviously we're going to grab a red cube, we're going to pop it here in the old switcheroo. And then from here what we're going to do, on the pillar, just to the left of the red line, we're going to use the purple dot. So we're right up on the, uh, on the pillar, drop down to go into the blue to, in order to grab a blau cube. Yep, that's the one. Right, and then what we'll do is we will go and uh, redirect this blue cube onto the square. Go and grab the other one and make a tree. Once that's done, we've grabbed the blue cube, we are going to drop it down. And then we're going to grab the red and blue cube as well, which should be here. And we're going to pop that one down as well with it. So, uh, what we'll do first then, make sure that the red sort of shadow is up the switch above. Then we'll grab the blue cube. Pop that in the only switches on the floor. Look at us go, look at us go. Next, we're just going to interact with the wall straight in front of us. And do the same with the wall straight in front of us, and that should be enough to get us going. So we've been here before as well, so we're going to interact with the green side of this pillar first, so that we're kind of looking up, sort of. That'll get the green platform going down, interact with the wall behind you to get back on the floor. Interact with the other side of the pillar, the red dotted side. And that will get, in fact we're going to need to do that again, sorry, because we need to obviously get, so we've got the green one. We're going to drop down onto the green side. It didn't uh, didn't leave the red come down quick enough, sorry. Uh, interact with the purple. Grab one of these purple blocks. And what we're going to do is actually, we're actually going to drop down onto the platform. Not that one there, but the sort of bridge with a bit of water on it. So that's what we're going for. That's what we've done. There we go, and then from here what we can do is if we're going to place the block sort of anywhere in the middle right here is absolutely fine And then what we'll do is go around the other side of the block Interact with it and that will get one of the colored platforms smashing down as you could probably just hear So you might not be able to see it, but you can hear it. So we've interacted again with the floor So the water is now directly underneath us. That's what we wanted. We interact with the other side 
And that should... Uh, I think it's pretty much done. Just have a quick double check. Uh, yeah. No, I genuinely think we're done now. So we only have to uh, effectively do that once. So once that is done, uh, we will hit the yellow side. There it is. So it was the yellow side I was um, trying to mess around with right there. But that should get the next platform down. So apologies about that there. I was doing the two same sides. And that was me being a bit shilly. Right, so now we've done that, we can finally cross and we're going to do some redirecting of the water flow right down the middle of the coloured platform, interact with the green side of the pillar again, and then drop down to the tree, and continue dropping down, and we will hit the purple uh, wall in front of us right there, grab another purple block, and we will redirect it into the hydro energy thing and open up the door, and away we go again. Coming up to the sort of last areas now, we've only got about 13 minutes left. Oh, so, sorry, yeah, about, about, ten, about sort of 8 minutes left of gameplay, really. So interact with the walls directly in front of you until we're sort of on the uh, floor. Drop down to this little bridge, interact with the wall in front of us. Now we're going to have to do a bit of playing around here. So first of all, interact with the red side where the black line was. And then you're going to need to wait a bit. So have a little patience. This is what I wasn't doing first, having a little bit of patience. Interact with the floor. And then we go to the left side. And left side again. Until it is blue, bluey purple. Then we interact with that one. Interact with the floor. Then interact with the uh, green side. I believe that was green. And eventually... There it goes. Bam, that's what we wanted. Right, so once that's done, interact with the floor again. And then this time we are going to need to interact with the uh, where the black line is coming out of. And again, there it is. So it's going to start flying down. Interact with the floor again. And that should be it now. So now we can grab this first yellow block, I believe we're grabbing this one. No, in fact, we're going straight up. And then we hit it back. And now we will grab the yellow block. And then, obviously, what we're going to need to do is go behind us, put this one in so the bridge uh, will appear. And then we're going to go ahead and grab another yellow block. We need two, remember. The first one, just drop it down gently, and then the other one you can drop down with it.
And now, finally, we're coming up to the final bit of this level. If you remember this bit, you will remember this bit. Fair, just fine. So, drop down. We are going to, obviously, uh, do some redirecting of the water. Let's grab another purple cube when we're here. And we're going to drop down and we're going to put the water flow... Um, in fact, no, we're just going to drop straight down, sorry, first of all, because we need somewhere to put it. So, just continue on and continue on again. Drop, 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 drop the baseline. Boom, 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 boom. Bam! Into the water it goes, so we can grab another blocky block. Old block party. So, let's grab that one then. What we can do now is put the first cube... Not here, but just to the left of it. So the sort of where the platform is sort of raising out a little bit more. There we go. Right in the middle. I did actually mess. There was a little bit of an edit there because I messed it up the first time. I went too much to the right. <laughs> Sounds about right for me. Uh, so from here then, what we can do is just drop down with the purple cube that we've got. Boop, bitty boop, boop, bitty boop. And then we can just... Put this one straight down. That's going to open up the hydroelectric. <laughs> it almost will. Oh, in fact, it's done. It is done. Sorry. Yes, we've opened up the hydrocarbon. <laughs> and now we wait. It does take a little bit of a while for it to appear. But once it does appear, well, it's time to get the D spot, baby. <laughs> this be it then. So we can drop down. This time it's a little bit easier to get to, even though I made it slightly more complicated than I need to do first. Pick up the cube. And then obviously all we need to be doing is finding that darn tree. So let's drop down. It should actually be down just directly below you. Uh, which it is. So from wherever you've got, from where you've got the D cube, it should be directly below you. And that is... Well, that is effectively it, and then we've just got one more achievement left to grab. The credits and the final ending cutscene does take a while. I've edited it, uh, edited it, it down, edited it down, uh, just to save a little bit of time in the video. But for now, this is pretty much the end of the game. So, uh, and then we've just got one more achievement left to grab. So, uh, whew, man, too many colours. Now, I want to see the world in black and white for five minutes.
Oh, righty row then. So, following this guide, you should have at the minute 23 out of 24 achievements. There they are. So now we just need to do one, which you could only get after finishing your first main playthrough. So after the credits have completed and the completed have the credits completed, uh, we will be able to continue and we will start off right in the way of the rainbow tree. Manifold guard, three in. Now, only when kids write the E backwards is it quite cute, but uh, no, otherwise it's not good. Right, so we will continue. We will start off on the rainbow tree itself. So what we'll do is do a full mega 180. So turn yourself around. And then all you're going to do is just completely keep sprinting until where we find the uh, last rainbow cube. Now, after a long, 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 long jog, it seems, with this is where the rainbow cube is. So, see if we are sort of um, panning the camera this way, so we're going back towards the rainbow tree. Head to the left, where the birds are singing and chirping. Drop down a couple. And then what you see, if you look down slightly to the left, that is the map room. So, that is the place where we need to go. It can be very tricky to find this one, actually. So, we're going to drop down. Sometimes you might make it first. Now, if you, you can if you want. What I tried doing here was actually just um, jumping on to the top, uh, but it didn't seem to work. So drop onto the ground floor, interact um, twice, and then what we'll need to do is do a little bit of a 180 and then quickly hit the wall to the left, or to the right, sorry, there we go. Now we can drop down, hit the stairs, and that is us on top. All we're going to do now, um, the door is around the right-hand side, continuing on. Pick a level, and that is the game done. Manifold Garden, 100% all done. Platinums, an achievement guide, and achievements. It's a, it's a nice rare achievement to finish off on, so it would be nice if this game did come to Game Pass, or if this game did come to, uh, you know, was free with Games of Gold, because I feel like a lot of people should play this game more than they have. But anyway, there we go. Hey, guys and gals, so 24 out of 24 all done. So thank you so, so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed the game, and I hope the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. If it didn't, please let me know why. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members, and I'll see you in the next one. Big love.